everybody, welcome to the Unexpectables. Oof. I am Takahata101, and I am joined uh, by uh, many beautiful, beautiful people. We're going to start with one of the most beautiful people, Gaijin Goomba. Oh, how kind of you to say so. Uh-huh. How you doing, everyone? Gaijin Goomba here. I talk about the cultures and the animus in the games. You can go check out that content over on YouTube. Just look for Gaijin Goomba. I'm the only one. I made sure of that. Um, however, Ugh. since y'all are here for them tabletops, uh, we announced it last week. I'll go ahead and re-announce it now. Zito and I, over on his channel, we're starting up some Magic the Gathering uh, goofy deck building and, and fun times. Why the uh, fuck does he pull all the artifacts when I he doesn't play Why them? do you pull? Why do you pull all the elementals that I want to play? Hey, do you want Chandra? You better f it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg, my dude. That's fine. I got shit to throw at you. The only character I know is Nicopolis, and he's a dragon. That's all. Hate him. Sure, he needs to die. For what about BF? What about BFC, the big furry creature? <laughs> I mean, what? You know, that that's actually the, the big furry creature is actually a, a disgustingly overpowered card. That sh that will never be legal. It's a joke. But anyway, card. no, that's 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 what we doing over there. Uh, otherwise. You guys can find me on my channel over twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Goomba, where we break down culture and gaming live. Um, probably bringing back uh, Taiko no Tatsujin or Taiko Drum Master pretty soon. Um, and I'm still waiting for Ghost of Tsushima and Neo 2 to come out because I'm going to tear those games apart awesome. as soon as they come. Zito, where can they find you, dude? Oh, hi. You can find me over twitch.tv slash Zito, where there's table topping uh, nonsense. There's homebrewing nonsense. Like, la the other night, me and the chats just went, hey, fuck it, you guys just want to play as Moomin? Let's just make a race that's Moomin. And then fucking Nutcase comes in and goes, here, check it out. Here's the artwork. Well, I guess this is canon now. I guess we now have playable Moomin. Uh, there's also indie games, and there's also artwork from time to time. So yeah, you can come you can come by and check that stuff out. Awesome. Zito, did you see the game that I sent you? Yes, I did. And Good. Guess, guess when Bargain Barrel's happening this week? Fantastic. When? This Friday over at TFS at the Stream Four Star, where Good. me I'm... and Live Studio Brian and Hey Gaijin, if you want to head on over there before it starts, by all means, it's an open I am, invite. I'm gonna raid you live. Connor. Connor. Get in the game. Jump in the pit. Hey, Connor, while you're doing that, where can they find you? Uh, well, uh, when I'm not, uh, when, when I'm not, uh, trying to get on the game on Roll20, you can find me on Twitter having correct opinions at Snake. Mm -hmm. you can find me, <laughs> and you can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where I'll be, uh, doing some Friday Funhouse this weekend, doing some random games and drinking profusely. Saturday is gonna be The Witcher. Uh... Getting running running out of things to do on Skellige. I, I have to go back to Velen sometime. Yay. Uh, and uh, then on Sunday is, uh, uh, God willing, Divinity 2. God willing indeed. Monty, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at Monty Blue where I have no opinions. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. So, so sorry. What? I had to poke fun. Um, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. Uh, you can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue on Twitch. Tomorrow, we're doing more Skies of Arcadia. Hooray! I got it to work again. Ba, Hooray! Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 I, bought, ba, I bought a new AVI HDMI ba, converter. My old one, literally if I sneeze on it, would fly away. The new one is heavier than hell. Kurt, stop singing. I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> you can't. You live far away. Yeah, but she can kill you in game. No, don't do that. <laughs> um, Wait, that'll ruin so yeah, our encounters. Tomorrow, tomorrow at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you can catch me there. Um, on top of that, this Friday coming up, um, I've made myself available uh, for Sheru, who's doing a Pokemon drawing event. Colonel Sheru, she's she's mm. uh, our moderator on Discord. I think she's a moderator on Twitch as well. Uh, it's basically where you get descriptions of Pokemon. You have to draw them. And the outcome is very goofy, so I'm going to be jumping in on that, hopefully, as long as I don't have to stay at work again. Um, and then on Sunday, we have Divinity 2 Original Sin. Um, a lady with a gun showed up, and now everything's fucked. So that's basically where we left off in that. Um, oh, what happened with the giant sea creature? That... He ran away like a punk bitch. So no. it, that's the, the full definition there, the scientific... Uh, you know, 
recording of that event. Um, he did slap us quite, quite efficiently. Uh, we're now into fights that are very scary. So uh, now, now things are going to get more tricky. But yeah, you can catch us on Sundays at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for that as well. <gasps> cool. Hi, everybody. I'm Takahata101. And you can find me here. We got the Multiverse Nexus Wrestling. The hat arc continues. Just a, yeah, just, right. Just a, just a fucking There's great a ass arc. There's a hat arc. There's a mat. There's a hat. Someone put it on, and now they're possessed. <sighs> why isn't th why is this better than real wrestling? It's because like, it is real wrestling. Real. All right. There's just there is the hat arc. The chat is so invested in hat arc because the one who put it on was a superhero, and now he's not as good. Uh, we'll also, of course, have a stream later this week. Maybe some uh, just some. Uh, Total War or something along like that, but uh, good. Uh, we got some Most interesting important. news today. Today is my birthday. We're born! Yay! Uh, yeah. Happy birthday! Yay. Alrighty, guys, let's have let's have an out of sync happy birthday sing along. Out one and a two. Happy, happy birthday! birthday to you. Oh my God! Happy Birthday, yeah. What the hell is that sound? <laughs> what the hell is what that? What the fuck was that? That was uh, like wild. Singing you a happy birthday. Wow, well, that was wild. <laughs> that was that was uh. Jesus, it's. I felt like I was. I was the hell's <laughs> the damn there for a second. That was uh. <laughs> I think oh, that was that, guys. I, I mean, this from the bottom of my heart. That was just terrible. That was so. <laughs> that's that's what I'm curious about. Uh, I, I think we, I think we've all aged a little bit from that performance. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, uh, from one person, y'all worse than my family. That's pretty good. Thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. I got a lot of people I gotta thank now. Oh boy. Birthday punches. I'm gonna, I'm on, gonna grab birthday, my hold on, birthday punches. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> My knees! Ah! Perfect. <laughs> that was a nice one. All right. <laughs> uh, the Crow, Dragon One Two Four, Letter D Double O Four, Warface, Zeus Moose. Trailter Skelter, so Gino Kaze, 911, SKC, 1926-9, Lasumio won the robot, Dazzle, 123, Mugen, 2116, Pie Boy, 4242, Coltrane, 1995, Duke Skelabuns, Argent Lyle, 13, and Hierogatics. Thank you all for the subs. Seriously, Studio Jima, thank you for 100 bits. Happy birthday. Thank you very much, Master Monster, 11 with 1,000 bits. For the underground smackdown, you guys will be laying down in the underdark if you smell. Yeah. Master Buster with 1,000 bits. Thank you very much. I'm grabbing my tea. I will be a few seconds. Shadowy Sphinx with a 2,000 bits. I'm back from the hell that was jury day. Also, Zidu, you tried either the mint chocolate chip or moon Oreos? I never heard of a moon Oreo. But the next what is, no, what, what's a moon, what is this moon Oreo? What is a moon Oreo? Yeah, what is a moon? It's a moon. It's an Oreo that see every trip to to space, they take they put they put a couple boxes of Oreos in the back. Ah, uh, I see. You no, know, no. The it, reason it, is because the actual the sun the centrifugal force of the moon actually uh, shoots moon energy and imbues it into the into the into the to the, the Oreos. Makes it magic. Truly, like, the truly like, the richest element ever to be found on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but truthfully, they are not actually eaten. They are crushed out and turned into a brand of Japanese Kit Kats, though. Ah. Mm. Which ones? Just, you know, just the moon ones. Shadowy Sphinx with 2,000 bits. Thank you so much. <laughs> Natalie Polly, 3,000 bits. Happy birthday! Oh, Natalie Polly with a 3,000 bits. Thank you so much. Snaps out for Natalie. I'm back. I don't know how to snap my fingers. Black. What? Foot. Wow. Wow, we know who not to take. Wow, why are you being sensitive, guys? What? Hey, no, hey, just... no, no, freak, freak, mutant! Oh, no. Play the X Men theme for him. 
It just shows Zeno about to do the badass Wolverine slash, but he just tries to snap and it doesn't work. Here, this is my mutant power. I, I come yeah. at you aggressively like a fucking goose. I turn into a were goose. That is my that is my fucking like what? my my X Man power. A were goose would be terrifying. Big goose. <laughs> Uh, Blackfoot There's... Ferret, with 9,001 bits, though. Holy shit, Blackfoot Ferret. With over 9,000 bits. Let's a light, polite golf claps for Blackfoot Ferret with the over 9,000 bits. Luke. Gotta curve the hand slightly. Black, yeah, exactly. Uh, I got, yeah, I got, yeah, I got. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you so freaking much. Luke, a lot with 5,000 bits. Congrats on existing, Taka. Uh, it's... It's all right, you know? Just wow. <laughs> Look a lot with a 5,000 bits. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Dark Talon, thank you for the bits. ETM Cabrera with the 2,700 bits. Hey, all. Love the Unexpectables. We'll have to catch the VOD. Work drains, everything. Also, happy birthday. 2,700 bits. Thank you so much, ETM Cabrera. 1,100 bits from Viral Tech. The Beholder on the other side of the door will turn Borky into a barbarian meatloaf. Am I right, Monty? Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The, Viral are the cure is ah! skin milk. Oh, oh, oh what just happened? Oh! Whoa! <laughs> there he is. Oh, there it is. Jesus Christ. What? We're going to end this with that. Duh. Yeah, you have three more minutes. You're fine. Yeah, you're fine, man. <laughs> Master Monster 11, thank you for the thousand bits. Happy birthday, Taka. Hi, Pro B. <laughs> Master Monster, <laughs> thank you so much for the thousand bits. It's a happy birthday. It is Gamaliel with the 500 bits. I'm in Vancouver till still from LTX this past week. Anything I absolutely must do while my last day tomorrow. If you've not been to Japa Dog, go to Japa Dog, Gamaliel. Go to Japa Dog. It's a Japanese hot dog place. Ooh. I want to go. Oh, they have one in New York. It's in uh, Times Square. We Not have... Times Square. Uh, e uh, St. Saint, Saint Mark's. Uh, uh, Bud the Spud with 100 bits. Thank you so much. Portal Jumper with 500 bits. Happy birth, Mustaka. The soft clapping sounds were a nightmare, Zito. <laughs> 600 bits from Realm Forge. Happy freaking birthday, Taka Doodly Doo. Thank you so much for the 600 bits. Uh, I want to thank Mark Wolf, JK Gamer 57, Dino by 36, Windigogo. That's a good name. Windigogo. Thank you so much for this. Well, wake me up, when to go, go. Sorry. Muscle Wizard, thank you for the bits. Duke Skeletons, thank you for the bits. Cool Shirt Guy, thank you for the bits. 5,000 bits from Blackwing, Hellkai. Happy birthday, catch! Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. oh beans. Oh, oh, beans! Thank you for the 5,000 <laughs> flat bits. Blackwing, Hellkite. I did not catch and it landed right in my face. Met God with a thousand bits. Oh, birthday is a doodly do. Hope you have a great one. You love you, man. Thank you so much, Met God. Shadowy's face with a thousand bits. Happy birthday, Taka. Also, Moon Oreos are special marshmallow cream Oreos to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Oh, oh shit. Oh, wow. Mm. That's. That you, sounds rad. You mean the moon Yay. filming? Darn it. Matter of fact, with a thousand bits. <laughs> Imagine if that's all you had to focus on was conspiracy. Anyways, moving on, moving on. A thousand <laughs> bits. That's for my stand-up bit. Art of Baron, thank you for the hundred bits. Avigrana, thank you so much for the sub. Sword Cooper with the five hundred mm. bits. Hey, guess you got a job. We can afford to throw bits at y'all now. Happy birthday, Sword Ooh. Cooper. Congrats on the job. Take care of yourself first and foremost. Thank you for the five hundred bits. Draconis, eighty-eight. Young homeless. For the five hundred bits, thank you so much. Ice Booth with a hundred bits to face. Thank you so much. Portal Jumper, kept for 97, thank you so much. The Cannon Fodder with 900 bits, happy birthday, Taka! Thank you so much for the 900 bits, the Cannon Fodder, Maverick, the Warlock, thank you for the bits. Script Daddy, Daddy, oh, Daddy, thanks to Probate for scaring the shit out of my cat with that one. 500 bits. <laughs> Lanny Pator with a raid. Thank you so much, Hi, Lanny Pator. Hey, for the Lanny. Hi, Lanny. Bo Banny. Just Neelon with 500 bits. Go, Taka, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Go, Taka, go where? You want me to go away? All right. Cosmosis45, thank you for the bits as well. And finally, rounding us out. <sighs> okay. Some dork. <laughs> <laughs> like, I saw Sorry. your I saw your head turn into a skeleton for that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like I just saw your jaw rattle. Oh I, I have to thank Robonaga Yari for the not one. 
not two, not 20, not 50, but Frobunaga with a hundred thousand bits. That's and, one thousand dollars. And it's happy, <laughs> happy birthday, dude. Don't tell him how the sausage is made. <clears throat> or stuff. Right. Hey, it's like Yen, though. I, I, I got it like, real fast. It, it is. It is. Pro yeah. Pro probate. Seriously? From all of us just to you, man, thank you so much. That is an incredibly kind thing to do. I don't know what to say. Uh, aside from I'm going to be sending you a personal message after this as a thank you. But thank you so much, Probate, for the 100,000 bits and newts out for the bit boss. Beep, beep. All right. Let's go. One second. Uh, I'm scared. Excuse me. All right. I'm, uh, I'm just dying. Don't worry. <clears throat> oh, we have stream tomorrow. All right. When last we left our... When last we left our heroes, Forky the Orc Barbarian, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Task the Cobalt Ranger, and Greckles the Kenku Rogue, the party left the haven of the great Bioshroom and its deep gnome inhabitants to descend on Dragonfly back to the entrance of the Gauntlet. Left at the yawning entrance of the Cave Gauntlet Cavern, the party readied themselves to make their harsh journey to the mysterious Undersun. Walking through the tight corridors, the party entered a series of caverns. Scouting ahead, the party had to pick a path. An underdark giant to the north, a spider surprise to the northeast, and some bullets to the west. Alerting the bullets' fate, uh, alerting the bullets, fate made its choice. After some crunching, munching combat, the party emerged victorious. Taking a short rest, Task and Greckles examined their surroundings, discovering some small laser marks in the stone. As the party's rest comes to an end, and the howls of the cavern crescendo throughout the tunnels, we return to the party. So you guys have completed your short rest. Oh, and this was just the beginning. Bum, 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 bum. I always imagine that when we have a rest. All right. We got a corridor. I can barely see in here, so who wants to take the beak? Well, I guess that's me. The hummingbird's out of the question. I can't use it again. Oh, Zito, you're really far away from your microphone? Hello, it is me. Ah, there you go. Uh, go sorry about that. I'm going to use the last 10 minutes of my short rest to recast uh, Ritual Detect Magic. Okay. Can you actually click that spell for me so I can just see what it picks up? I think it's anything magical, correct? Uh, for the duration, you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you can use a reaction, or you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic. You also learn oh, its yeah. school. Uh, it can penetrate barriers, block, uh, but not one foot of stone, one inch of metal, a okay. sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. Okay, so it doesn't work through walls, and it doesn't. Okay, so I just want. Yeah, that'd definitely be blocked by these. Yeah, as you say, it's pretty scary if you could go through walls. All right. Yeah, you detect no magic from where you are, besides what is on your party. Um, the very the Ron Falls is just oozing magic, as well as. Um, Obviously, Task's bow and, and Greckles, uh... Just Greckles in general. <laughs> mm. he's, just yeah. gro he's just glowing with raw energy. Borky would like to perceive his spiritual aura. Okay. Oh, I'm joking, Don't. Doctor. <laughs> Alright, Task, if you take point, I can watch your back. Oh, boy. Here I go stealthed again. Okay, group stealth check for everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. no. Let's see. Uh, 14. Okay. 11. Uh, 22. 16. Not, Not bad. bad. All right, guys. Not okay. bad. Round of applause, guys. Round of applause. That was nice. That was nice. That Average. was nice. Average. That was applause, of course. I moved my dice when I cleaned my desk, and I couldn't find them. Sorry. What? All right. So. What? Oh, what? no. What? 14, 11, 22, and 16. Not bad. Mm. Okay. Uh, task, as you move forward, about here or so. Oh, okay. Move you guys up this way. Uh, I would like you in the front to make a perception check. This is based on hearing. Oh, boy. Don't get the big ears going. 
Yeah! Let me just, me, let me just, let me just meerkat my way into this situation. 25. Nat 20. Oh! Very, very nice. You hear laughing. Like... <laughs> I just stop. I fucking throw my hand against Crackles' chest, and I put my finger to my lips and look to him. Laughter. Like ha ha laughter, or like cackling gremlinish laughter. Oh, that's that sounds like fun. Maybe it's a cackling gremlin. That's impossible. They don't exist in this game. What? With that natural twenty, you also, as you kind of hear the laughter, you hear a <clears throat> noise. A what again? Oh, a sneezing. No, not a sneezing. It's like a pew, like a high pitched sort of like sound. It's it's hard to, to tell what it is, but you do hear it. It's very subtle. I I hold my hand up to Greggles again. Now there's two voices. Or at least two sounds. Why in the world could be laughing down here? Nothing aside from the drow. Nothing well, seems like it would be laughing. Well, keep your keep your weapons out. We don't know what's going on. Maybe you had to be there for it. That's I'm gonna actually... I'm gonna press forward <laughs> with stealth. Okay. How 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 uh floor to ceiling? How big is this uh, corridor? Pretty tight. Uh, the ceiling is maybe about 15 feet tall, which is not bad. Mm -hmm. Um, as it goes into like the tighter sort of like like the the more narrow it gets like width wise the ceiling tends to go down too hey, mm -hmm. hey money mm -hmm. uh just uh, just before you i get moved or anything i'm hugging the wall yeah absolutely yeah i'll let you control uh your characters so. likewise right here Borky's just gonna be like right behind the rock we're going around a corner here everybody yeah you see uh, like a little bit of a segment of like a wider larger space and then you see it kind of loops around to the left ahead of you uh borky starts making hand signals incoherently okay you do like a bird you do like some spider stuff i do the bunny like hopping perfect <laughs> task one thing we could throw out a decoy if we wanted to just to see if it would alert anything but it would blow our cover it only sounded like one voice and something else that was firing off it or some kind of like weird noise would you guys want to draw it to us i would hesitate to do that we have no idea what it could be it if we be. could if we could see what it is first and then maybe set up an ambush that'd be different borky what were you saying i was just saying tash to look around the corner because he's tidy that's also true mm. barbarian logic <laughs> all right i will <laughs> I will, I will stealth to look what's around the corner and then get Tash. back to tell them what's Tash. going on. Tash. All right, Tash. roll a stealth check with advantage because you guys previously did a really, really, you passed on your stealth roll, so just do it with advantage this time. Here so I go. Gonna... 17 oh. both ways. Okay. Whew. Okay. So you move on ahead. Yep. And you want to peek around the corner. Yep. You have to move right there. Oh, oh no, that's exposure. So you, <laughs> so you, oh, you know, you can die from too much of that. As you, <laughs> as you look around the corner, you see a small, lumpy avocado-looking thing. Um, you see it has these these almost like snail eye stalks coming out of its head, on uh, the sort of lumpy lizard-like body, and you see it shooting lasers. Tiny little lasers at some petrified bodies. And each time it shoots a little laser, it knocks oh. off a finger. It's like... <laughs> Do I know what that is, considering what I saw at the bar? Yeah, you would. That is a gazer. I'm oh. gonna just go ahead and head on back. <laughs> Ta Task looks like he, he, like his like he looks like he's about to have a heart attack. <laughs> oh my god, how giant and scary is it? <laughs> gazer. It must what? be enormous. Do any of you know? Do, do, like, what do do people in this world know what beholders are? Like, no, in myth? they're they're a mystery. You guys would have no, not a clue. All right, well, I will regale to them about how I saw someone in a bar with this thing. It has eye stalks that can petrify, destroy. This thing is just not something we want to fuck with. Do you think we could sneak around it successfully? What if it's only one way to? 
What ta way task? To find out. Task. Task. Like. But think, what happens if we skin it for parts? Orky, in any other situation, I would agree with you. This is way out of our league. What? Task looks at him like fucking sullen eyed, like not even joking. What? Say it ain't so. This is not something we want to attack. We have to get by this thing with no detection. But what if, what if, what if, like, we're going that one way because it's like, is it in our way? No. Uh, I saw the path going up north, yes? Yeah, there's a path going south, which is where you saw the creature, and then the path going up north is, you didn't see anything. If, if we turn, corner. if we turn the corner, we're dead men. We have to find some way to keep going north. Oh. We can follow the northern wall around, can't we? Is, is it just the one? But what if it notices us, and we have to fight it anyways? What if we just have to jump on it anyways? And that way, while we're heading north, because, is it just sitting there? What's it doing? It was floating. It was just floating and shooting lasers and seeming to be entertaining itself. It's, it's playing with its kill. <laughs> well, it's going to get bored eventually, so it's going to come our way, so maybe we should jump it. The more we talk, the more we're wasting time. Let's just sneak by as quickly as possible. I disagree. I agree. I disagree. I agree with the one guy who knows the Underdark better than we do. Panic, how do you find out? Uh, I mean, if Task knows what it is and knows we can't take it in a straight up fight, then... Uh... I'm going to have to side with him. What? Oh, Morky's just shocked. Morky's just I mean, shocked. Task is the most ferocious out of all of us, and if he doesn't want to fight something. Only when he has rabies. Alrighty. Three versus one, majority wins. <laughs> Alright. So each you're gonna have to make a separate stealth check here as you sneak past this thing. <laughs> oh, that's a 13. 26. Okay. Come on. I want Borky wants to go last. Okay. It's fine. I'm probably going to have... Ooh. 12. 12. And then we all sneak past and... Natural 20! Damn. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Greckles, you kind of sneak across, and as you do, you kind of kick up a rock, and you're like freeze, and you stare, and you look at this thing, and you see currently it's like lasering in a mustache on this like petrified body, and what like the fuck? like laughing its ass off. <laughs> does, it, does, does it notice me? It does not as you sneak by. You get oh, oh, fucking dumbass gazer, I love him. <laughs> 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 Is it wrong that I imagine it doing? I imagine it doing the glop 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 voice thing from fucking Rick and Morty. Glop 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 glop. Task, you walk on by. You don't even look at the thing because you're just so focused on being stealthy. It does not notice you. Uh, panic. You want to cross, and at this point, you pick up uh, the magic of this creature, um, otherworldly magic. And each time it fires a little laser, you can you can detect like evocation magic and, and other effects. Uh, as you step by, you kind of like hit like clip your foot and you kind of stumble and fall on your knees in front of it <laughs> and for a second it's like ah. <laughs> it just kind of keeps going back to what it's doing it does not see you at all <laughs> jesus okay or can you just you just walk at a normal pace and you're fine. <laughs> Morgan just walks Morgan just walks past fuck this Morgan just kind of casually <laughs> walks past it yeah does doesn't notice any of you guys it seems very preoccupied with what it is doing it I would love be this good. stupid ass gazer. <laughs> it would be it would be imperative that someone watch our flank though in case it does get bored. Ah, uh, uh, get Borky. Okay, but I, either Borky casually walked or he did the Egyptian walking across to the new spot. <laughs> no, you crunk you crunked it. Dude, you crunked it. Borky. Borky. Borgie? Yeah. All things considered, you seem to be raring to beat this thing into a pulp. If it does attack, oh, we no. trust you to oh, break those, that first blow. Those bullets, those bullets slap my shit. I'm angry. I understand that, but we all got to keep a cool head. However, if that thing does come after us, go crazy, big guy. All right. Ugh. All right. Well, I don't 
don't sense anything in front of us for the time being, so let us continue. Task, you got point. Keeping it stealthy is probably the best approach. If worse comes to worse, then we fight. I'm gonna move ahead. As you move ahead, you see something moving ahead of you. Whoop! Uh, down on all fours. White silken pouches. Oh. Wriggling in the darkness. Okay, I'm gonna step on back. Mm, Spoders. Silk. Silk sacks moving. Egg sacks? Something of that nature. Mm, or prey. Prey is not our concern. Yeah, I have to agree with this kind of hostile environment. Yeah, I think we have to be looking out for numero uno down here. Did you see a, a way around or anything, Task? I saw a lip that leads to the right, but I didn't get a good look. Mm. This is a very big corridor from what I saw. Interesting. The only thing we could possibly do at this point is just sneak by, and if worse comes to worse, we have to fight. Right. Borky, I want you to roll a perception check for me. Borky rolls a perception check? Yeah. Oh, no. That's 21. good. Dang! Hey. Not bad. Okay. You turn around just in time to see, uh, literally not even a few feet away from you, uh, the gazer like, <laughs> floating up towards you. And it kind of stops as you notice it. You turn your head and you see it, and it just kind of stops, and you stop, and its big eye is open. No one else sees this, right? It's only... No, just you. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Borky just points the other way. He points the way they came from. Okay, roll a, roll a persuasion check. <laughs> Brain blast. 18! Oh, no way. No way. <laughs> It kind of it kind of lowers one of the eye stalks. You could tell it was kind of pointing towards you. <laughs> it kind of floats away. It kind of zooms away. I love this guy so much. <laughs> what a fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> he, re he reassessed. He's like, mm, nah, not worth it. <laughs> Go that way. Uh, <laughs> We're busy. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just, it's just... <laughs> look, you look, know what it is? It, it, you know it, what it, it is? is it's like that scene from Batman, where that one goon goes into the room and just sees Batman. He goes close, just shakes his head close to the door, someone goes, what'd you see? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck that, I'm not getting beaten up by Batman. <laughs> ah, my sides hurt, actually. That was... My, wow. My fucking I face it. is on fire. <laughs> I, I, I love lesser aberrations. <laughs> Tiny shitty beholder. <laughs> Borky right. and Borky says nothing. Borky's yeah, Borky. not gonna tell them what just happened. <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> Did I hear something? Yeah, what I don't. That? Yeah, I don't worry about. It. He's fine. Taken care of. Um, okay. <laughs> Task, as you move there, I want you to roll another perception check for me. Mm, can do. Oh, my fucking eyes are watering. I know. <laughs> Did my roll go? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Damn, that one. The, you, are, that. you are so fixated on, like, these, these, what you now realize are, like, cocoons of some kind. Um, that 
you, you're just like, that's what you're focused on. They're moving. You're not sure if they're going to hatch. It's kind of concerning, to say the least. That's oh, a nat one for that. everyone on the podcast, by the way. Yeah, I, yeah. I, did, I did say nat one. Oh, you did? Oh, shit. And then there's, and there's a natural 20 on the other side, which is... Which hurts, sucks. Man. Oh, well. Uh, so I just wave everyone to get on up this way. Better than the double nat one. <laughs> Borky creeps up beside Schmeckles the Greckles. Just a ball of damage. I'm staying well and truly behind them. <coughs> uh, hmm. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I guess we roll stealth at this point. Uh, yes. Sure. Here we go. <laughs> oh, 19. Oh, oh, wait, no, that's 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 you. 15 on me. Double 19 for me. Nice. Five. Oh. Oh. And Look. 19. Look, Borky can't roll fire forever. No, no, that, let's just be real here. I burnt all my karma with that last little moment. <laughs> <laughs> I burnt a lot of karma at once. Uh... Task as you kind of walk into the chamber, stealthy, you are, you're completely stealth, uh, you see the rest of the chamber. Uh, Greckles, I would like you to roll a perception check at disadvantage due to the darkness of this chamber. Absolutely. Um, Monty, you're coming in a bit quiet. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm being quiet because I'm looking at things, sorry. No, no That's worries. an 11. 11? Okay. Um, you notice it now. Uh, as you walk in next to Task, uh, what you thought was just straight wall are holes. This room is filled with very large 10 foot by 10 foot holes in the walls. Oh, oh fuck this place. Uh, and there's no, there's no, there's no, uh, further going in. Like, this is just, this is the end of the line, right? Uh, as you guys look around, you do see right behind you is... Oh, uh, thank God. You guys look around, uh, but as you guys are looking... Whoa, you see not what I wanted to do. You guys, as you guys have entered this room, you begin to see now emerging from one of the caverns. It has not noticed you. A large insectoid-like creature. Oh, no! Oh! Oh. What does it look like, Nadine? Uh, imagine a giant cockroach with mandibles that are just huge. It's like bipedal, so it, it walks oh. on two arms. So we like... stealthing around the corner and getting the fuck on out of Dodge. Yes, please. Oh, fuck. Move, let's, guys, guys, go, go. Okay, go everyone around. to roll stealth checks now with disadvantage, because... Eh. 11. 11. 23. 8. 8. 13. <clears throat> you watch as a creature retreats back into the hole. Oh. Hmm. We all just stand there looking, not trying to move. <laughs> Freezing in different poses. Welcome to the most extreme game of red light, green light. You For guys real. begin to move down Ooh. and you guys begin wait, to Wait, 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 before, before we do, uh, I wanted to take a look at these sacks to see if they're magical or not. For sure. Uh, they are not magical, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's all I really wanted. Okay. I need everybody to roll initiative for me. <laughs> As right before you guys burst out of the ground, one of these insectoid creatures <laughs> bearing its mandibles and rearing back. I made, I, I, I fluked you guys out. It has tremor scent, so it's all you. <laughs> ah, figures, figures. Ah. Yeah, that's why I was making roll stealth checks. None of them mattered. Soft 20. 17. Oh. All right. Natural one. Oh boy. Panic's like, look at those egg sacks. They look so firm. Ah! ah, ah. <laughs> we're, we're rolling. So, we're rolling so, like, hot and cold right now. It is, yeah. So, this. How big is this creature, would you say? Uh, this thing's like 13 feet tall, maybe. Mm hmm. It's considered a. Large what the creature. What was that? It is a large creature by definition, yeah. I think, you have, I think you have to be over eight feet to be a large creature. Yeah, eight feet is like the cap for medium. That was one of my characters once. 
just by default. That's Doros. <laughs> Wait, are all Goliaths large creatures? Goliaths are not. No, they're medium. No, they're they, medium. They're, they're right at the the, the most at yeah, most part you could end. be. Yeah, yeah, they they are the precipice ah. of medium. My lizard folk was was a large creature for a while. Oh. Not super great for this creature though. Uh, plus, yeah, still beats you, Panic. Yep, sure does. <laughs> oh, right. That guy's just gonna read. All right, task. I need you to start by making a charisma saving throw for me. I read what to what? Yeah, if you look into this thing's eyes, its eyes almost gleam and stare at you, and you. You feel your head swimming a little bit. Ooh. Uh eh, three. Ooh. Okay, you are now confused. Gross. You're disorientated and you're swaying confusedly. The sudden shock of this giant creature looking before you. You, in your memory, you remember seeing the husks of this creature. Like your tribe had like a shell of this. It was like an important ritual item, but you, as your mind swims, you can't remember what it is. Oh, gross. <laughs> uh, all right. On a field, so the creature can't take reactions until the start of its next turn and rolls a d8 to determine. So I need you to roll a d8 for me. Uh, d8 to determine what exactly? But just, I uh, just want to know. What you're going to do this turn, because oh. you're confused. Oh, right, right. Eight. Eight. I believe that means you so can act, you act make... normally, right? Nope. This is different. A different oh. confusion. Oh. The creature uh -oh. makes one melee attack against a random creature, or it does nothing if no creatures are within reach. So, you have ah. Breakfast and Borky right next to you. You pull out your whip. Oh. I need you to make a whip attack. A uh, Borky? Da, 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 da. 26. I assume that hits you, Borky. Yes. Roll damage task. Ouch. Ah! Ten points of damage. To what you. did I do? Yeah, you watch his task like immediately throws his hands over his eyes and starts swinging wildly towards this creature. Um, it's in in just in a mistake. He whips this thing around. And it smacks you right in the face, Borky. Ah! Damn, Dysk! All right, Grekthos. Uh, I um. need you also to make a charisma saving throw because you guys were technically surprised. Okay. Oh no. Four. Boy, that's a four. Yeah, you are confused too. You you like gasp and you look and you've never even heard or seen a creature of this nature. You think of the ant, ant egg a little bit, mm -hmm. but then you're like, what? What is this? And you catch the gaze and you're like, oh. But you feel the effects of it immediately. You guys are able to put two and two together that where the source of this is coming from, but you are disoriented and you need to roll a d6 for me. Uh, a right. D8, sorry, a d8 for me. Wait, that's a two. There we go. Oh, goody! Uh, oh, fuck. boy. Or fucked! Oh, boy. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. So, you have three people around you. I'm gonna roll these six. Oh, boy. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, roll to hit. Uh, because you're swinging wildly, there'll be no sneak attack damage on this hit. Yeah. Thank um, you! I was worried about that specifically. Would it be... This is important. Would it be the sads or would it be the short sword? Uh, it would probably be the short sword. Okay. That's a okay. God damn it. Borky does a 23 hit you. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I didn't uh, mean to. <clears throat> Happy birthday. Yes, it <laughs> does. Happy birthday. Roll damage. Please not much. Oh, that's better. Seven. You get hit for seven points. Of ah, Grackles, what did I do? <laughs> Borky, it he is. He sounds confused. <laughs> Borky, it is now your turn. I need you to make a Christmas saving throw as well. Oh, oh beans! No, we, can't, we can't have you confused. That's fucking bad. 17! 17. Ooh. You, like, stare at this creature for a second? Borky's always confused. So, you're unaffected by this. It's my just, like, it, it tries to read Borky's mind. He just hears this dull set. Oh, hey, just this hey. ring. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's no deep thoughts. You realize the effect. You can see the glow of its eyes. And you're like, wait a second. You kind of, you bring up your arm and you cover your eyes. You are unaffected. You may take your turn as normal. Ooh, first thing Borky's going to do is go into a freaking rage. 
Okay, you go into a rage. A regular rage or a frenzied rage? Oh, I'm wondering. You know what? Morgan's gonna go into a frenzied rage. All right, so just note, note this. Um, I didn't have this happen last time because it was a convoluted fight. After you have a frenzy rage, you get a point of exhaustion. So just a heads up on that. I did have a short rest, so I got rid of one of my points of exhaustion, correct? I believe it does. I'll double check, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna waive that exhaustion because it was kind of like it was a silly fight. But you still lost a rage. Okay. Um, counter. But I, did, but yeah, I did. I did. I used up two of my rages last time. I had yes. got one rage back from my short rest. Okay. So yeah, now now is your. Let me just double check that real fast. Yeah, sure let's just double check. Yeah, I got we got rage mechanics. Hey, hey, rage Zito. mechanics. Yeah, I got the madness. I got cabin fever. Oh <laughs> god. We've got cab. We've got under dark. Uh, it's long rest. You don't get them back on uh -oh. a short rest. Only on a long rest. So oh, man, all right. I'm gonna go through one of my. Uh, do I? So that takes your bonus action to do. So now you have two attacks, but the following turns you make three attacks using your bonus action. All righty. That's the science of anger, everybody. All right, great. Now, as you cover your eyes, you have to roll with disadvantage. But it's really big. It is. So. Can I peek at its oh, feet and know where its feet are? Okay. Forky swings his great axe 13. Sorry, this. Uh... Actually, hold up. No, you do not get to disadvantage on these attacks because um, you actually have to make the choice I... at the beginning of the turn. But you were surprised, so it goes off this time. So you don't have to. You don't have to avert your gaze. So the the thirteen unfortunately will miss, but the rest of them are gonna be just straight rolls. So twenty two. Twenty two will hit. Smack it in the foot, and that is fifteen uh... damage. That's really good. One second. Let me just pull up his health real fast. Oh, now that I'm in a rage, I'm actually, I cannot be, ooh, I cannot be confused. Is that how You can't be charmed. You can't be charmed. Sure. You cannot yeah, be confusion charmed. is something different. Nice try, Panic. Rage. I'm raging. Okay, so I'm in five. I'm going to bring it down to that much. Very nice. Everyone's Thanks beating Borky. You slice, you slice down on the kitest, like, outer armor of this creature, breaking it through like a like a crab's shell, and you see this almost snot green liquid spray across the cavern walls. That's a juicy one, boys. All right. Stop so whipping me, Task. Nah. <laughs> are you gonna move at all? Or are you gonna stay where you are? You know what? Borky is going to. Borky's gonna try like while he slices. Borky's gonna jump along its left side, its right side. Sorry, its left side. And Borky's gonna swing on down to here, All blow right. it. Swing around it. Its gaze is facing northward towards your three companions. So. Yeah, but if it moves right. out of position, take an attack of opportunity. Panic! I need you to make a charisma saving throw for me. Oh no! Come on, yeah. got a high chris. I sure do. Don't here I go. Me. Don't jinx me. I won't. You're fine. You see it and you're like, oh, you start to feel like nauseous and like a little sway. And you see Greckles and, and Tass currently swinging wildly. Uh, but you manage to kind of sear yourself and keep your com uh, composure. Hmm. Quick, get rid of the orb of confusion. Turn it I, off. I, I recognize that they're they're under some sort of they're under some sort of effect, yeah, you can tell. And as, as this thing, you see its eyes, your detect magic actually makes a sort of fog around its eyes. You can tell this is some sort of magical influence or magical affliction. I'll just shout, don't look into its eyes. <laughs> Dr. Will what, the hell, what the hell? There's, there's Task. What the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> I don't know. Just constantly know. whipping Borky, asking, what's the matter with him? What the fuck is wrong with him? Whip, whip, whip. <laughs> I'll, I'll sort of, I'll slink back a little bit. Okay. Just so I'm out of their melee range. And, uh, then I will cast Fairy Fire! He'll get caught up in the Fairy Fire! How big is the radius of that? Because it could hit your allies as well. It's un not discriminate. Uh, it, uh, it's a 20-foot cube. Okay. That will hit either Everyone. Borky or it'll hit your allies. It'll either hit Task and Greckles and the Umber Hulk 
the thing, sorry. Uh, or Borky and the insect creature. I'm sorry. The tension is palpable. You know, uh, I will, uh, Um. Fair fire is great, but that's the one downside to it is that it hits everyone. Task is all like, whoop this little bitch in the face. I mean, it's a deck save, isn't it? It is a deck save. I'll I'll have it hit both. Uh, I'll have it hit both Greggles and Task along with the right. thing. You All right, so dexterity saving throws for me. Dexterity saving throws. I have an eight to this, please, for the love of God. 17. 23. You both pass. Oof, good gamble. Uh, the oh. creature rolled a seven. Nope. <laughs> so it is now afflicted with fairy fire. All right. <clears throat> I'll maintain like, concentration on that. It's glowing like a rainbow beetle, which if anyone hasn't seen a rainbow Ooh. beetle, they're oh. really cool looking. Oh. oh, pretty. Oh, God, kill it. Oh, pretty, pretty thing. Uh, Ooh, pretty bug. And, uh, ooh, pretty bug. And, uh, mm, what do I do now? God. I will use a bonus action. Mm. To use a bo uh, use of Bark Inspiration to activate Mantle of Inspiration. Okay. Everyone now, gets each of you gain. Eto. Uh, Eto. <laughs> God damn it. Eight temporary hit points, and you can use your reaction to move up to your speed without taking opportunity attacks. Can we do that while confused? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah. It's not, not on your turn, you're not, so. You're not afflicted with confusion. You are just confused upon looking at this creature. Oh, okay. Um. Well, I want to be a range boy, so I'm heading back over this way. Uh, I'm actually going to keep my, my reaction. Okay. All right. Despite rolling a natural one, because I went back and relooked, uh, the insectoid creature goes next because it got a four on it in its initiative. So it's the most dexterous thing. Okay. Um, it is going to. Now the question is, does it want to deal with Borky or does it want to deal with a more juicy target? I'm going to roll an intelligence Borky's check. Borky's got the now. juice. Oh, that's why I kept my reaction. Uh, it is going to go for you, Borky. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm raging, so it's all fine and dandy. It swings with one giant claw. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, that's going to be a 24 to hit you. Oh, it's... Oh, well... Uh, six points of slashing damage cut down in half to three. Yay. That's my, that's more like it. It swings down again with another claw attack. Uh, that's a natural one. Oh. Oh, Shit. what happens? I'm going to roll severity on this. It drops its claw. <laughs> uh, it misses, but its gaze is now turned northward towards Borky, so it is no longer looking at everyone up to the, uh, to the north there. So its butt is exposed. Uh, and it's going to go for a mandible attack as its final attack. It brings down these large, big, like, pincerous mandibles. Almost like the Pokemon pincer. Ooh. And goes through your shoulders. Oh, that's cocked. What? That's a natural 20. Uh, wow. I activate as a reaction. Negate attack. I activate the ability. Okay, what I had it written down. Where is uh, it? Storm King's call. Western Sky's howl. Western Skies Howl. You are correct. Thank I activate you. Western Skies Howl. Just to re-roll. Uh, that is going to be a 17. Yeah, I'll take that instead of a natural 20. That's, yeah, that's probably going to be better, especially for this attack. I don't care that it gets cut down in half. I can only imagine what a natural... You nat take 18 points of damage, Ooh. cut in half to 9. Mm. That would have really hurt as a crit. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. 9 points of damage there for you. Uh, that ends the creature's turn. 
Um, I'm just gonna decide what it's gonna do with its movement action. I always imagine that essentially what happens is Vorky just like he moves side to side so quickly you see two Vorkies. It is going to move, not leaving combat with you, Vorky, but move to the side to make its gaze go this way. Oh no! Gaze goes this way. Which, which, what do you mean? It's gonna head t northward, so it'll hit um, you, basically everyone to the north. Oh boy. All right, that brings us back around to the turn order task. I'm assuming you're gonna be, you can either choose to avert your gaze or keep your gaze. Now he is fairy oh. fired. So attacks on him have advantage. Mm. So if you don't look away, it evens out, which is why that's a really, that was a really good idea. Mm -hmm. If I don't look away, it evens out. But if I look away, I just waste a turn. No, 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 it doesn't waste a turn. So if you look away, you have disadvantage on the attack. If you decide to look, you have to make the saving throw. But if you pass, you get to make a regular attack and have advantage. But because there's fairy fire, if you're like averting your gaze, it just evens out the disadvantage to just straight roll, essentially. Let me, let me gamble. Gamble, for sure. 15. That is exactly what you need to save. Gamble, Ooh, boys. You are fine. You have advantage on your attacks. Oh boy, here I go kill it again. Hunter's Mark. Okay, bonus action Hunter's Mark. Yep. Shoop. All right. This, uh, he's taken hits, hasn't he? Uh, he has, yes. Excellent. All right, so. From Borky. He took one one big attack from Borky. By the way, as I shoot this arrow, ghoul. All right, full damage. Ooh. Burr. 21. 21. Ooh, that one. But then, oh. well, then that one on the other side. Fucking Six. 11. <laughs> right. no. And then five. That's 13 points of damage. Let me just calculate the math here. <sighs> All right. That's your first shot. It strikes into the, the, the creature's shoulder. It kind of buckles at the impact. And you watch as a giant shard of ice just forms on its center, then explodes. And the creature kind of reaches up with its claw and scrapes away the ice, the chunks of ice, leaving I'm almost frozen greenish blue blood that's kind of onto the ground. Oh, here, let me close that up for you. 29. 29. Oh. Damn. Another, Roll another, damage. Nat, one another nat one on the side. Ghoul. Seven. All right, cold damage to it. Very Ooh. nice. You strike uh, again, hitting it in the other shoulder this time. Does Hunter no. Mark work twice? No, or no? It, it, only, it, only, it only procs yeah. once, yeah. Right, 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 fair enough. Yeah, and Colossus Slayer only procs once. It's once per per your turn. Cool, right on. All right, it staggers back. It looks very angry as it's kind of staring right at you, but you're kind of shaking off the effects. As you're looking at it, you feel like tinnitus in your ears, like a sharp, piercing tinnitus, like your brain is screaming. Ah, oh, motherfucker! You managed manage to hold yourself <laughs> together. Oh, uh, that too. brings us around to Greckles. All right, so... Are you going to look at it or are you going to avert your gaze? Greckles is going to avert his gaze following the wall uh, to the side. Kind of like a speedwalk who doesn't want to doesn't want to be noted with the <laughs> hand up. Like, no, 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 no. no. Peripheral yeah, vision, yeah, yeah, peripheral yeah. vision. <laughs> hey, man, you want, you want to buy my CD? Don't look away from me. Buy my CD! <laughs> to get to get but to get behind it. He wants to talk, okay. he wants to talk about his family. And give it just just give it like uh just just that stab right in the back. Straight rolls for this because you averted your gaze. <laughs> oh, 23. 23. What, what are all the these fuck? ones the on the other, other side? side. <laughs> side. <laughs> God, damn. Roll 20 is being very threatening right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really scary. is. It's flexing really hard. Alright, roll and you get sneak attack because of Borky flanking. Yay. Thank you. Uh Oh, it would be a, okay. Never mind. Uh, so nine, ten, eleven, plus much more. Mm, plus twenty-one. God, Very sneak nice. attack damage so, is crazy. 30, 32. 32 points of damage. Damn. And then uh, I will offhand swing. Okay. As my bonus action. Uh, this is just regular. Everything is flat. He up. Okay. So that is t ooh, big it's old gonna ten. Miss. That's oh, gonna yeah. miss. with advantage. No, he has no, no, no damage. No. He averted I, his I averted. Gaze. I averted. Yeah. I averted so I could get behind it, and then I can go crazy. Ah, uh, okay. Still nothing to sneeze at that damage. I know. Yeah, no. But is he flanking? Uh, would, would, would a 12 make a difference? 
It's no, it's not gonna make a difference. This okay. thing is very <laughs> okay. well not armored. Not with a carapace that big. Yeah, it's got a really heavy carapace to it. All right, that ends your turn, Freckles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. Do you avert your gaze or do you stare at it? Borky stares. Well, it, Borky stares at. Okay, so if Borky looks away, he doesn't hit with advantage. He just hits normally. He just hits normally, yeah. Okay, but if Borky stares, he hits with advantage. Yeah. It's a gamble. Ah, mm, oh, it's my birthday. I'm feeling lucky. I'm gonna stare right into the eyes of the beast. He's gonna uh, look directly into the sun this lap. Directly into the eyes. <laughs> Borky's All gonna right. look. Borky looks deep. All right, roll a uh, charisma saving throw for me, please. Drink deep of the confusion. Three. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> You, you're feeling really confident, Borky. You stare into it, and you just hear, like, you hear three voices in your brain. <laughs> you hear Gripples, Ronfalt, and Bright all arguing, and now there's a fourth voice, which is just like, it literally sounds like it's that dwarf from the, from the underwater crab, the tutorial dwarf yelling things. It's all four <laughs> of those voices in this big blender of a sound. I need you to roll a d8 for me. Ow, my brain! <laughs> Blood just starts pouring out of Borky's ears. Ha! Ah, that's better. That is a three. A three. Uh, you literally, like, all this noise, you kind of, like, your arms go slack. Uh, you're still holding on to Ronfald, and you watch Greckles as you peer behind the crease. You just see Borky's head thrown back and just, like, drool kind of uh, rolling down his face. Uh, oh, that's just nothing. That's, you do that's nothing cool. on your turn. That's oh, no, I gambled and I failed. I apologize. <laughs> Remember what dad said. Gambling is a loser's game. Right, no, it's... Taka, <laughs> buy... Taka, buy more lotto tickets. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone full turkey. All right, panic. It is now your turn. All right. Uh, uh, do you look or do you avert? I avert my gaze. Okay. I don't need to be looking at him for this. <laughs> I, I, I look at the heel of my shoe and I say, you know, I've been scraping your kind off of the bottom of my boot for years. What makes you any different? Uh, I will vicious mockery him. Okay. He needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, that is a 14. He fails. All right, so five points. He Takes has five psychic damage. Okay. And he has disadvantage on his next attack. All right, mark that there. Keep that in mind for his turn, just because I'll probably need a reminder. All right. Good in my beat reference, by the way. Uh, it is now uh, the creature's turn. Task and panic. You hear a sound next to you. Oh, for fuck. As you watch, part of the stone wall burst out, and a second creature burst out of the wall. You heard oh. it coming, but it's now there. Uh, oh, no. it is going to, uh, hmm. What does it want to do here? I'm just going to try and grab you, Panic. I want you to roll a, either athletics oh, or fuck. acrobatics of your, of your choice It here. heard me talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 17. 17. He got a 16. Oh. It, like, goes to grab you and grabs you by, like, the arm, but you slip out of your jacket, and it kind of, like, throws it down to the ground and, like, spits. It makes this horrendous bug, like, <laughs> screech as its mandibles swing back. That ends its turn. Uh, the one in front of Borky and Greckles is, it did not like getting stabbed in the butt. That's fine. Um, it's going to turn over towards you, uh, Greckles. The first attack's gonna have disadvantage. Mm -hmm. It swings over this glittery disco ball. Uh, thank god it had disadvantage. That's gonna be a 10. That's not gonna hit you. That is correct. Uh, the second attack, it's going to swing towards you. Uh, that is going to be a, uh, that's gonna be a 15 to hit you. That does not hit. Does not hit. And it's gonna swing down with its mandibles. Man. Uh, that is going to be a soft 20. I'm assuming that's going to hit yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's going to be... Oh. So 17 points of slashing damage to you as it brings down its mandibles and 
it basically grabs your shoulder all the way down to your waist and kind of breaks down. You, hear, you feel the, the sharp points of the mandibles break into past the feathers and the leather armor into your flesh. I will get I will get squirmy and dodge half that damage. For sure, uncanny dodge. Turn to the side so it doesn't pierce as deep. Yo, good thing for that fucking temp HP. Right, because yeah. that's that was exactly it. All right. Oh my god, did you cut that out? Did I get temp HP that I didn't notice? Yeah, yeah. we had we got eight. Yeah, we got eight. Got oh eight my god, did you cut eight. out or something on my end? Okay. No, 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 he didn't. Okay, then I'm just a dummy. I'm so sorry. Well, take it now. You have it now. Yay. All right, that ends the creature's turns. Uh, it is now rolling back around. It is now task. It is now your turn again. Where is Buddy Boy in front of me facing? Uh, he is currently facing forward this way. So he's not looking like you're, you're seeing the side of its head. You are not seeing its eyes as of current based on how close it is to you. Do I have a line of shot against the one I have Hunter's Mark on? Uh, yes, you do. You squeeze between the two of them. Good, because I want to keep the pressure on that fucker. Let's let's stop having ads happen. Okay. I'll take it shots at him. All right. Cool. With advantage. Are you are you looking at him? Is he looking at me? I thought he was looking at Greckles. Oh no, he's looking at Greckles. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you have advantage. So twenty eight totally hits. Eleven plus Hunter's Mark and Colossus Slayer. Five and. Damn. Two. It's going to be seven. It's going to be 18 points of damage. Not bad. Uh, as this thing is bearing down on you, Greckles, it's reaching up with its claws. It bears up with its claw. You see an arrow streak right through the palm of this thing's hand. And it <laughs> leans over and grabs as it's dripping out this gross, disgusting bug liquid out and, of its palm. And let's not be undone, Ghoul, once again, with a 23 to hit. That'll absolutely hit. Hell yeah. For an additional 10 points of damage, ice. All right. As it goes and it skulks around, it goes to turn and stare at you. Borky, who's currently drooling, it looks and before it can even, you can even intake its gaze task. You just let loose the arrow and an eruption of ice explodes. Its head is blown off and replaced with a large spray of icicles as it twitches and falls backwards and its limbs curl inwards. Bonus action, pass Hunter's Mark on to Big Boy right in front of me, and I'm moving away. Okay. Now they have disadvantage, correct? Uh, Tim? It gets it gets a reaction to make an attack on you. He wasn't uh, notices they, you're yeah, running they, away. They have disadvantage on me because of Escape the Horde. Okay, it's gonna use a claw attack on this. Well, uh, that's still gonna be a soft 20 to hit you, unfortunately. Ouch, yeah, that hits. Right. It gets your Achilles heel. It's going to be uh, eight points of slashing damage. As you're running, you feel your tail get, like, just cut in the back. I, it's like a cartoon. It's like duck. It, it, it looks like it's gone, but it's tucked underneath my legs. Thanks, yeah. to, the, thanks to the armor. <laughs> All right. And that ends your turn there. Yep, that's it for me. Greckles, it is now your turn. What way is the new uh, insectoid facing? It is facing forward like this. Uh-huh. This currently looks like it's more like it's kind of got this sort of gaze this way. Obviously, you can't see past the stone, but it's looking at panic and in this All general right. forward. Right. Let's see vicinity. here. 40. I can do it. All right. So this cre I'm just going to point this out to you for people watching at home. These monsters are very vaguely described on how this ability works. So I'm just kind of doing what I think feels right. So if anyone gets upset, like it's it's not very well explained. In Don't the book. Be upset, he makes spaghetti. Yeah, exactly. So, so, mm. so this thing, this, this thing is currently not paying attention to me at yeah. all. In the street. You see forward. it as it, you see it as it turns. It's looking towards uh, where Task had just run off to. It tried to grab him and just barely, barely missed. Greckles will bonus action dash alongside the wall and then just give it a good old stab right in the face and then book it as soon as that's complete. All right, so just a straight roll. This thing does not have parry fire on it. That is correct. Let me. Get the good old sads. Stab, sad, sab. That's 27. a 27. That will hit, and you you do have an ally flanking him, so you do get sneak attack as well. All right, so that's 13 plus an additional 15. Ooh, nice. That's a good, solid amount of damage there. And then Greckles, with the rest of his dash movement, will move 
behind one of the protrusions uh, going back into the same tunnel as Borky is in. In order to in order to basically cut off its potential gaze. Okay. So that was a run and stab and done. Okay, that brings us to Borky. You shake off the confusion. You're like, Bleh. 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 and I seize the bug in front of him, just dead. What the? What happened? Yeah. What happened? You don't you don't remember anything that happens. Borky turns around and he sees the other bug. Oh, there it is. Ah, Porky just runs at it. <laughs> Porky thinks it's wrong. Oh, hell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Porky. Oh, yeah, ah, Porky just runs with run fall above his head. Now, are you averting your gaze or are you looking at it? Oh, I thought it's looking at Task. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. It's looking at Panic. You're fine. It's looking yeah. at Panic. You're fine. Ah, yeah. Porky just runs in there with... Just takes a roll and starts hacking at the head. Yeah, as, it, as you hear Borky screaming, the creature does turn and look, but Borky doesn't catch his gaze. 22 will ask. 22 to uh, 8 slashing plus 2. 10. 10. 10. Rage. Yeah, and another one. That's a oh, 10. A 10. You miss. As you go to swing again, it brings up its arm. It, <laughs> your blade hits this sort of really almost buckler-like um, wrist um, armor plating to it. Oh, and 9. 9. You swing again, and it, like, does the, the kung fu thing where it catches the blade between the two hands and kind of just shoves the blade B away. B Borky and, when, oh. Right when it catches the blade, Borky says, Masaka. Oh. <laughs> Taka, we, we, need, we need you to at least scream unprovoked Hassan Chop as you're running at, at something. I don't know. Yes. Borky, Borky does not know the reference, so it doesn't. Hassan Chop. Yeah. It's Looney Tunes, dude. Hassan Chop. I don't remember this. I... Oh, man. Oh, oh man. man. Next time you're in Texas, Zeta and I will educate you. That's yeah, it's so good. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, that ends your turn, Borky, I'm assuming. Is that your turn, dude? Yes, it is. Yeah, sorry. It is my turn. All right. Panic. It is now your turn. Mm. This creature is right now, its gaze is now turned to about this angle at this point here. Going to... Look at its feet. I'll point my finger up at its chin like you. <laughs> <laughs> Fisticuffs? Fisticuffs? I've, I've, I've taken shits that were more threatening than you. Uh, vicious mockery again. Are you looking at it or looking away? I'm uh, looking down at its feet. <laughs> okay, okay. It doesn't matter because it, as long as it can hear me. That's fair. Uh, it rolled a, a 14 on its saving throw. No, it is it is hurt. Roll damage. Deep inside. Eight psychic damage. Woo, max Ooh, damage. That's max damage, yeah. Feelings crushed. <laughs> Potential mate probably dead. Or is dead. Oh, it's that fucking scene from Futurama. Hope's deleted. <laughs> All right. You want to uh, stay there or you want to move? I'm gonna move. I'm good. It's used its reaction on tasks, so it, it's is it swiping away. It turns back and you're gone. It's like it shakes both head. Then you insult it, flip the bird, and run away. I pull out my. I, <laughs> I give it the double birds and I activate my heelys as I fly backwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He would be the guy with heelys, wouldn't he? <laughs> All right. It is now the creature's turn. Just enough. It digs into a tunnel. It starts digging through solid rock, which is actually pretty fucking terrifying. You see the stone beneath the floor kind of arc up as it pops up on this side. Does it take oh, an attack of opportunity from Borky? Uh, I would have, yes. You may roll an attack of opportunity. Oh, Borky just, <laughs> just see it wriggling. Wait a minute. 11. Yeah, you missed. Uh, you, damn expect it. It, you expect it to move like a normal way, but it just goes down, and you're like, but what? Morky goes for a side slice, and it just ducks its entire body away. Damn! It jabated me! It sweeps up behind you, erupting from the earth, bits of stone being tossed into the air, bouncing against the solid stone floor. It lets out this, <laughs> this cry as it swings to you, seeming to have been quite uh, upset with you at the moment, Pass. Disadvantage. Yep. Does that have disadvantage? Vicious oh, mockery. Yeah. The first, first attack, yeah. First God attack. damn it. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Quit forgetting my thieves. Uh, that's an 11, so I'm assuming that misses. Nope. 
So it sweeps with a claw, but swings wide uh, as it kind of gets an off glance of panic. The one who's still rolling away on his heelys and <laughs> <laughs> well, just just one just one bird now. It like clutches its arms inward and goes and swings again with another claw attack on you, Task. All right. Uh, that's even worse. That's going to be a nine. That's gonna miss. Holy shit. Uh, and then it's going to bite down with its mandibles. Frustrated at missing, it's going to bite down towards you. Uh, that is going to be an 18 to hit you. That will hit. That will hit. All right. Four. It's going to be 12 points of slashing damage as it just bites down onto you and, like, kind of swings you and then throws you to the ground. But you kind of do, like, the flip. Like, you kind of go with the roll and then flip back onto your feet oh, and just kind of wipe the blood from your face. Aw, oh, dude, Task fucking death rolls like a gator. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, that ends its turn. It's back up again, Task. Motherfucker. <laughs> um, let's see. Are you averting gaze or are you staring at it? Ah, uh, that's a good fucking question. Hmm. I'm... Can I move before that, or do I have to take that first? You have to do that first. That is your first decision you have to make. That's the call I'm making on it, because it says... Okay. Uh, it says, like, at the beginning of the turn. When a creature starts its turn within 30 feet of the Umber Hulk, um, basically it says, unless surprise your creature can avert its eyes to avoid the saving throw at the start of its turn. So, at the start of its turn, you decide. I don't know myself, so I'm going to flip a coin. Heads, I look. Tails, I look away. Okay. Tails, look away. All right, so you, you bring your arm over your eyes... Avoiding that piercing yellow glow. Look away. Click away, you idiot. Uh, I'm gonna use Escape the Horde to dodge the fuck out and get out of there. You're gonna, you're gonna run? Okay, are you gonna yeah. disengage and run, or are you gonna just run? Oh, I can disengage, right, duh. I'm disengaging and running. All right, you take your action to disengage and you run. Uh, let me double check my move speed real quick here. <laughs> just be 30 feet for you. Fast just starts burst running. <laughs> Yep, gonna just mosey on over this way. You kind of shoulder check the wall as you're running because you are kind of covering your eyes, but you do feel the wall and you're like, okay, I'm good, I can stop here. Yeah. So, which direction do you run there? Zito? You are heading back Next. south towards your allies, Borky and Greckles, who are in a separate uh, tunnel at the moment, while the creature is left behind in the open space with the wriggling cocoons. Unfortunately, I don't believe I have anything else I could possibly do, so that's me. All right. Greckles, it is now your turn. Do you avert your gaze or do you keep looking? Uh, I'd avert my gaze. I mean, I'm hiding behind that corner. Um, Fortunately, it can't. Oh, well, technically, actually, technically, it doesn't. But the moment you poke out, you're going to have to decide. Right, right. So, yeah. <sighs> now, this is this is a mechanics question. And yeah. if, if, if I am incorrect, it's 100% fine. I just wanted to make sure. Could I avert my eyes to get far enough away, like, if I was to go up, like, do, to do, to go no. up? No, you are, you are doing that, that is your turn, essentially, you're okay. covering your eyes for the Okay, turn. again, it's it was... Within, it's within 30 feet, so if it sees you moving, it's gonna look at you, so just assuming that you're blocking the entire time, essentially, is, okay. is okay. how I see it. Yeah. Right, so let's see here. Um, fudge, what can we do? I know what I can do. One second, I have me a plan. Okay. Because I don't have to look at it, but I do need to look at another location. So I'm going to bonus action dash because I'm a madman like that. I'm going to go right behind Task and look not at the creature, but to the right of the creature in this generalized okay. area. And about right here, um, Greckles is going to clasp his hands together, whispering Genshutsu and an illusion of himself shall appear kind of in the middle of this area. Okay. Sure. I'll just put him right there. That's fine. It, it's pretty irrelevant where he may be. Yeah. Um, so, it, let's see here. Check against your spell save. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, do, 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 do. So a successful a... a successful intelligence check, investigation, uh, against your spell save DC, which is 13. Okay. So, let's do an intelligence check for this creature, which is great. Uh, that's a 7. <laughs> All right. Be a failure. It <laughs> turns and looks. Its gaze now staring this way. Excellent. All right. Um, yeah, that's. I got a little bit of movement left. Let me just move. 
Yeah, let's move right here. Okay. Oh, here, rather, sorry. Okay, and that's good. Borky, it's now your turn. The creature is looking uh, towards the opposite end of the cave, away from all of your companions, looking at basically a Greckles, which is currently kind of doing the hula and kind of like being super distracting, and the creature's like, <laughs> turns over with very much intensity. Borky pulls up Ronfalt <laughs> and just starts <laughs> casually walking and building mo momentum. All right. He's picking up so much speed. <laughs> Borky, ha ha! Borky swings down with Ron Fault. 19. 19 will hit. 12 slashing plus two for rage, four, 14. Four, 14, that's gonna bring it, one second, let me just do math real fast here. All right. You swing at it and it <laughs> rears its head back, kind of distracted from the illusion. Uh, 20, yeah, go right ahead. 13 plus 2, 15. 15 points of damage. One second, let me just apply math here real fast. All right, and then that's going to bring it to... Yeah, you swing again, and you cut one of its mandibles off. The oh. mandible clatters to the ground, and it, like, Ooh. it like reaches up. You can see there's no real, like... It's like a like an open bone. You can almost see, like, the inside, like, the blood kind of gooing out of it. You can see the marrow. Yeah, it's real nasty looking. As, uh, as Dan Abnett writes constantly in his books in Warhammer, the dripping icor. The oh, phrase yeah, icor. Yeah. That man Icar. uses the yeah. word icor like it's going it's out of business. Kurt. It Kurt, it's icor. It's what? Icar. Oh my yeah. god! I have okay. been wrong my entire dude, dude, life! Dude, dude, okay. No, talk it, talk it. Listen, you're, it's Warhammer 40k, so it has to be dressed up. So for all you know, you're saying it the right way. Oh, Feth. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, it's not as bad as me thinking that uh, this is so sad, Alexa, played Despaccio, which was not as Despacito, <laughs> which was incorrect. I confessed that on my stream yesterday, so there you go. Anyway. And third slash! Ten. Ten. No, unfortunately, as it swings, it actually blocks the blow. It knocks your sword back with a secondary mandible as it's clutching the, the, the one that's currently missing from the side of its face now in agony. Uh, it is now re-averted, reassessed its gaze towards Borky, but that distraction was very good because that mm -hmm. was a lot of good blows on him. Alrighty, that brings us to Panic. It is now your turn. Tell us more about Dispatula. Dispatula. Mm. <laughs> Dispatula? When, when, when Dispatula, uh, NPC. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. The new Gripples no. has been born. <laughs> if, I were to go, if I were to go here, just to the left of it, I wouldn't get flanking on it, correct? No, you would not, no. I'd have to be, like, there? You'd have to be there, yeah. It goes right after me. Shit. Fuck it, I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna say, hey, if it makes you feel any better, you're not the ugliest thing I've seen down here. You're close, but not the ugliest. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right, wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, wow, can you please 11? Nope, they all <laughs> take psychic damage. Six oh. psychic damage and disadvantage on its next attack. It kind of like it kind of uh, kind of deflates a little bit, where it's like kind of holding its face, like feeling insecure now that it's a bit, you know, had this beautiful uh, like female attracting mandible, and now it's gone. So, a little upsetting. All right. Hey, you started this when you attacked us. He can't show up to the stag fights looking like this now. <laughs> <laughs> Does that end your? Oh, you're gonna run over there for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. That brings us to the creature's turn. Attacks uh, with disadvantage. Yay. Has his first attack with disadvantage. It's going to go for you, Borky. Oh. Oh, uh, wow. Maybe you get a natural one. Nope. That's going to be a 12. That's a no. That's going to be a no. Uh, it's going to swing with another claw attack towards you. Okay. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a 26. That's going to hit. That it. That's going to be uh, 12 points of slashing damage. And it swings its remaining mandible like a sword towards you, aiming for the sternum. Oh, boy. 
Uh, that is going to be a 19 to hit you. Uh, that also hits. Oh, that 12 is half down to 6, correct? Yes. So that's 16. 19 again. hits me. Yeah, Borky. Yeah, I've lost scars after this gauntlet. Take 12 points of additional slashing damage, cut down in half to six. Yay. And it swings and it strikes up. You guys see an, an eruption, a geyser of blood spray up from in front of Borky. Ah! Uh, and. Oh, my Ica! I'm gonna make a intelligence mm. check for this creature. Uh. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna keep fighting, it's defending. So, all right, yeah, it, that ends its turn. Uh, task, it is now your turn. Uh, where is he facing again? He is currently facing down again. He's looking at Borky, and he's looking at what's behind Borky as well. Can Which is I, you guys. Can I move this way and take shots? To the right? Which way? Uh, up to the north uh, east. Assuming you're moving, he's going to be looking at you, so you do have to decide at the beginning of your turn whether you're averting or you're looking. Uh, hmm. Fuck, I can't take a shot from here, can I? Uh, if you move forward, you still have to make make the decision whether wherever you move to to get a, to be able to shoot at him is line of sight. So you have to make that choice. Well, I I refuse to be useless, so. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, with you gonna look or are you gonna go roll gonna with look. disadvantage? You gonna look? Okay, roll a charisma saving throw. Ah, six. Nope. Roll a d8 for me. Three. Three. Nothing. You look and. You know when you've looked at a computer screen for really long, your eyes just hurt? Yep. And it's that, that feeling you can feel behind the eyeball. You just turn the corner and immediately you like wince your eyes closed as you feel that feeling and you kind of like grab your ears and your head and you kind of just like, oh, you feel nauseous and dizzy. Awesome, um, pressure migraine. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. So you do nothing on this turn, unfortunately. Gross. Freckles, it is now your turn. Okay. Let's see here. It takes it takes an entire action. Sorry, um, you cut out there. Could you sorry, sorry. That? Yeah, it takes it, it takes my action to move the image, but I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be moving it to here, um, just okay. to the right of the creature, uh, very close to Borky, to try and okay. avert its gaze more of a southern direction. Because Borky's right in front of it, I'm gonna give it advantage on the saving throw, because okay. obviously there's a more immediate threat in front of it, but it will okay. notice it as it runs by. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a wisdom or it's an investigation. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, it rolled a two and then a five, which brings cool. it to a four. So it <clears throat> turns and sees this target moving, and its eyes are now directed. Uh, I will say this Photo way. Realist, photorealistic Greckles. <laughs> just 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 doing doing little Greckle head bob walk. No no no. He fucking flash animation pans over. Uh, all right, all right. That so takes that's your action there. That is my action. I'm gonna use my bonus action to sprint. So that's ten. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go head northward, past and deeper into the yeah. cavern. Yeah. All right. You run um, past. Can you can you put me about right uh, right here actually? Right there. Perfect. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about that. You uh, as almost like watching the sentry like kind of look away. As the moment they look away, you run across. You sprint across. All right, and then um. I guess that is turn then. All right. I'm, I'm just doing the setup. That brings us around to Borky. Borky, do you avert your gaze or do you stare? Here's an odd question. <clears throat> Borky, mm -hmm. uh, Borky does not look. Borky, okay, averts gaze. Yes, but what happened if I go into a reckless attack while not looking with one hand. That that evens it out. Because Borky's so gonna do- Oh my god, I just popped my headset I... out. Sorry, one second. I'm all excited. I'm all excited. So that would even it out, you just make straight rolls? Yeah, Borky's um, gonna do but, that- Bo But the creature will have advantage on you the that is, next turn. That is fine, because Borky- <laughs> Borky's gonna avert his eyes with one hand and has his sword in the other hand and starts swinging at him. Alright. Ah! <laughs> First hit! Natural 20! Natural 20! Ah! Oh my god. And you have Savage, you have Brutal Critical. Alright, so click your damage. Oh! Oh! Jesus Christ. Plus 2! 19 damage! It's 19, and then add, uh, roll an additional 2d6 for me. Because the Brutal Critical is as an orc. 9! Oh my god. Oh. You... 
guys watch, except for Task, who's completely in a stupor right now, as Borky takes Ronfalt and just with his eyes closed, just starts swinging wildly. It's like watching, you ever watch cartoons where a kid is supposed to like cut a hedge and he just kind of like swipes through the hedge and the hedge just gets destroyed <laughs> yeah. ahead of yeah. him? It's like that, but it's a bug and the, the, the organs go everywhere. You see intestines fly. You see the head roll back and splatter against the wall. And Borky, as you open your eyes, the bug is gone. Oh. Borky throws his hands up. We did it! Yeah! Has yeah. combat dropped? He says meta yes. Greckles, yeah, Greckles is gonna <laughs> meander back to the group. You, Borky, you feel exhausted. Oh. You're like, oh. Oh my god, it's a point of exhaustion for me. Tass is gonna move on over to the Umber Hulk and try and get a nice piece of that head out. All uh, right. Monty, is there a uh, flesh or blood sample that I could grab? Oh, yeah. Anywhere you look. Any recess in the stone has got a little puddle of the, the ichor. Ah! Seven. Seven. I'm going to give you 17 on this because you know what this creature is. Oh, uh, shit. Task, as you look at this, um, and plus your, your feature with your, your underdark thing, I'm going to give it to you. Okay. Uh, because, because you know what this creature is, because you have seen this, you haven't fought one of these in Oath Iron, but you've seen them and you've had them explained to you. Um, these are Umber Hulks. They are large insectoid monstrosities that confuse and drag away its victims. Uh, this appears to be its nest. Um, as you go and you begin to dig through, you get um, between you and Borky. Anyone else wants to roll survival oh, check? Oh, sure. I'm do this as a group. So everybody, everybody roll survival check for me. Okay. That's what fun. about the egg sacs? We might get to that after this. Okay. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. They're a very big creature, and to properly dissect this would require, like, really heavy duty, like, specifically made for, like, this sort of thing. Carving uh, carapace. Yeah, because it's really, like, interwitten. It's, it's it's intertwined together, and there's a lot of overlap, and it's, it's not <laughs> flesh, if that makes sense. Like, it's like that bug ex exoskeletal, like, gross... Chitness. Chitness needs, stuff, yeah. Needs a so, hacksaw. Yeah, whereas the bullets had some flesh to go with, and you just kind of peel it off the flesh. This doesn't. Um, but you managed to get, with those rolls, um, two well-put-together... Um, uh, Umber Hulk mandibles. Oh, okay. They're yeah. very big. Silly question. They're like the si Silly they're the question. size of a, of a of a long sword or a long sword or like a great sword size. They're uh, huge. Can we can we say that this for for for, uh, for safety's sake, Zito, are you going to be writing these things down and are they going to be I'm all doing it as we speak. And they're all going to yeah. be thrown in the in the portable hole. Fuck yeah. yeah. Um with those rolls you also managed to get two Umber Hulk eyes. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Eyes. Yeah. Um, you guys are very careful with that because of the nature of it. Um, in terms of the plating, it's it's just impossible to get off the body without taking the whole body. Uh, we, don't um, need any, we don't need any of that. We have we have bullet plates now. Yeah, you, oh, yeah. you also get four Umber Hulk antenna as well. Oh, nice. Those are so easy to pluck off. You just grab them, you pull them, and they just rip right off. Oh, uh, <laughs> we could have done that while we were alive. Is there, a, is there a, an internal organ left that I could take? Like a, yeah. what would look like a heart or a lung or something? Um, you don't really see a heart or a lung. You do see like the, like what looks like either some sort of liver or kidney of some kind, kind of like resting where, where Borky had his, you know, his blender escapade. Um, right. I'll take it that. Is, it is warm to the touch and is, it's like, it's literally like warm snot covering like a piece of ham is how it feels to the touch. Right. Oh, what the fuck? All right, we'll take what well, it'll be a good sample back for Alavast. Oh my god, it looks like one piece meat. Never I Oh, fuck that. I hate that. That anime meat that is the bone. <laughs> anime the meat. meat. I've had quite enough of talking about one piece's meat for one day, thank you. <laughs> well, we ain't done yet because Task kind of just like wanders over. Hmm. Never killed one before, but that was an Umber Hulk. Probably would behoove us to actually take a look at hey! this nest and maybe get something out of it. By the way, I would like one of you to please apologize for whipping me and stabbing me in the butt. I place my hand on him and do cure wounds. Oh, thank you. Borky, I accept your apology. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Greckle, Greckle shoots you a wink. Uh, you get... Uh, 
not a good roll, but you get five HP back. Oh, that's nice, though. That's that's nice. Yeah. I'm out but of magic, what, boys. Uh, one what, thing I'm worried about, Task, is how close to maturity these things are. Well, well, they're, well they're, they're pretty far from it because they're dead, Greco. Sporky gestures to the dead body. No, no, no. Borky, these eggs, these these sacks. Oh, you mean, the, you mean the white? Yeah. They're huge. They're, like, medium-sized. Um, I would say they're about the same size as, like, Panic. You see inside as you kind of look, and if you have any light sources, you bring up any light to them. Um, the larvae themselves look to be about anywhere between five to six feet long, and they're just kind of curled inwards. Um, they're kind of twitching, and, and they're kind of moving around. So, so what should we do with these? I mean, if worse comes to worse, we could just torch them. Well, I mean, worse comes to worse, but... I mean, is it going to be, like, lots of baby spiders? Like, I'm talking, like, uh, what's more than a bunch? It's just a... Larvae, is st larvae is still alive, even if it is going to be set on fire and laid laid out before us, so it might actually burst out prematurely How many jaws? Okay, hear me out. How many jaws do we have? I only have two bottles left. Okay, but imagine if they were these filled will, with... These will not fit in the bottle. What oh, if no. they were filled with spiders? I want to find one that looks like it's not so ready and i want to actually like rip it out so we could get some food okay yeah you find one that's the smallest it's maybe about the size of like a dwarf yep. uh you just it's so easy it's very soft you just kind of grip your fingernails you peel it in, and as it does it kind of gushes um almost like a pocket of water ah. and the larva comes spilling out and kind of starts like twitching and flailing in the liquid task bites down on the neck and rips it out spits right. it out stands up looks at everyone dinner's on no Great. <laughs> mm, they don't delicious. contain poison, so yeah, they're safe to eat. No. We don't have any wood to start a fire to cook these things. Mm, Monty? We have mm -hmm. silk. I Now, Prestidigitation says I can warm food with, with the spell. Can I cook it? <laughs> I'm going to say you huh. would warm it up. You would not cook it. Mm, it would not be the same. Room temperature bug. It would be like putting it in the microwave for like 15 seconds. Um, um, task, I, we could, I could just set one of these on fire. Gesturing to one of the sacks. That's what I was thinking. Let's take well, the hold, one yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we all go crazy, and Lord knows I like to do that, I would like to bring up something. If Let's we set a fire inside this cave-like system, there will be other things that may go, hmm, where that fire coming from? Better run that's, out of the cave. That's fair. That's why we find a corridor where it's small enough that we can have a little bit less space for things to find us. Or hear me out, we don't eat the bugs. Marky makes a face like, how about that? I'm not letting good meat go away, especially if we don't know if there's going to be edible food going forward. Well, I'll uh, tell you what. You stock up a bunch, I'm going to have me meat on a stick. We could save it for, we could save it for later. That's true. That's, that's actually true. Fair. So I will survival check to see how many rashes I can get out of this. For sure. With advantage. Because Here I go. 23. Okay. You slice Ooh. up. You make enough for like four rations, decent sized rations. All right. Everyone gets a piece. The head isn't that edible. It's just mostly eyeball. And you're just like, Ugh, you kind of throw yeah. that to the side. But the, the body hey. itself is is protein rich and very... It, the consi it feels like if you took a chicken breast and boiled it in like a pot of water and then started cutting through it. That's that's oh, what it man. feels like. That's like air fried. That's that's air fried chicken breast. Fuck yeah. No, it's boiled chicken breast. The the texture is definitely like boiled chicken breast. Should 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 we open up the rest of the pods? Possibly take more meat or leave them as is. I'm a little too worried about us constantly. Uh, I'm a little too worried about us taking more than just one because that might attract more creatures to this place. That's fair. All right, but if any of them could become alive and gain sentience and, and declare vengeance, it's on you, man. I will say one thing, though. I want to roll an investigation check to see if there's anything man-made with, within the mesh. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Uh, investigation check. Yeah. Yahoo! Okay. 12. 12. Mm -hmm. Um, the only thing man-made you find is, like, the definitely... Um, someone unfortunately came through here too. You do see what looks like uh, pieces of drow scout armor. 
uh, that Whoa. appears to be laid out in places. It is just destroyed beyond repair. But you 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 recognize the symbol, the spider symbol. Um, you find it in the northmost corner, just near one of the holes. It looks like someone unfortunately came through here at the wrong time. Mm, so. some, someone was dragged through, and I am not stupid enough to go through the actual fucking network, so let's yeah. not say we did. Task, right. have, you, have you seen that eyeball symbol around at all? Did I? Uh, you have not seen the eyeball symbol around. Actually, roll an intelligence check. Okay. Fast. Just to search your memory there. 14. 14. You think you may have seen it where that gazer was? You think you may have seen it on the southmost wall where near the petrified body, similar to the ones where you, you saw them near the entrance as well. Task points down where they just came from, but gives the Excalibur face. Hmm. This is an interesting puzzle that's getting put together. Well, we should at least find some place to bunker down and get some a longer set of rest. I feel like all of us could use it. Yeah, are we getting sleepy yet, since we have no oh, sense yeah. of time? Oh, yeah, you are, and Porky, you're exhausted. Uh, uh, really, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. One of those egg sacks looks comfy. <laughs> okay, I have an idea. I don't know if the gazer will actually decide to come up this way or not, because... No, I told him to leave. Wait, what? 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 Oh, you guys were staring <laughs> at the, the uh, am amber, amber sulks. Uh, the gazer flooded on up and like kind of gave me a look and I pointed, I told it to go the other direction and it did. It's aware of us now. Great, Forky. Get no, over no, 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 no. It went that way it. though. It went, it went the other way. For Forky, do me a favor. Help mm. me bring this over here. We're gonna have this blocked away so at least it has something to play with and not us. Oh God, I'm so tired. Let, I'm, I'm gonna help. We're gonna yeah. move this thing over here. So Gecko, is he gonna help him? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help Wait. him because right, he's so tired. Because of your exhaustion, that's just a straight roll there, Borky. Oh, oh boy. Uh, exhausted. Okay. Straight Athletic. strength roll. Athletics. Athletics check. Nine. Yes. Sixteen. Easy enough. You guys drag it over. I'm assuming you want to block it right yeah. there. Yes. You block up the hole and just kind of put it there. And now let's do the same with this thing over here. Uh, the other one down the, uh, the yeah. side path. Yes. We must describe. We must be. Right. Uh, task. Quick question: mm. Should we hole up in this area where possibly more of these creatures could come by, or go back down where the gazer used to be? I'm not going back where the gazer is. Okay. Well, why don't we just why don't we push this second one here, the one with its head exploded? Why don't we uh pu push this little bit here to the right and block up that hole? I go back, grab that other one, and pull it towards you, and we just stay in this nice, cozy little area. That we, was my idea. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I'm going to go. Okay, someone come with me. I'm going to go move that other I, one. Yeah, I got you. All I right, let's get it. Go get okay. it back over. Can I do, do I have to re-roll? Uh, no, I'll just slap it there. there the other we, one, I will have you roll. Oh. Gentlemen, okay. it has been excellent. It has been a lot of fun today here in the gauntlet, but I'm going to go to fuck to sleep. All right. 11. All right, 11. Perfect. You, uh, right. you guys hunker down. Uh, let's say this. Who wants to? Who wants to do watch? Who wants to go first? Porky's already asleep, so he watch. will be last, I think. I will. I will take first watch. Okay, I'll uh, take second watch. Uh, I guess I'll take third then. Borky, uh, kick Borky awake when you want fourth watch. Alrighty. And as you guys decide to go for a short rest, the arid sounds of the cave lulling you to sleep. We'll take a break here. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, the Ooh. wonderful sounds of the cave. I need a snack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so relaxing, says Task. <laughs> like, uh, and then Earth the makes it. Oh, I'm dying the, slowly! The, uh, the sound of the dark mantles tonight is really refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> by all the light, by the Lord, I am in pain! I'm... All right, I, I'm just gonna say this. I went. I I looked at since we're on break. I looked at the chat and someone went. I wonder if Zeno and Connor above game know how weak gazers are. Yes, but Tass doesn't. They can fuck things up though. I like, know, they really I, can. It's a fucking lesser beholder. The key word beholder. That's the, uh, very dangerous. The private one-off that you guys hired a uh, the mercenary crew for to get your stuff back. They ran into one. And it shot one of the people in the ass, and he was thrown like thirty feet into like another room where he then yeah. triggered <laughs> triggered enemies, and it was like that's really funny. His name was Peeping Tom. He was a great. 
You never fuck with these things. Good. Even if they're weak. Pass can one shot a gazer. I'd rather not be put in that situation. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah, for sure. How you doing, chat? I see you. Bracky's right. Bracky and chat is very correct. Hello, chat. Very rarely do I look at chat because I'm always busy, but I'm here because I ate before the stream today, so I don't have to run and snarf food to survive. Ugh. Okay, I'm back. Ugh. Welcome back. Oh, that was fun. I forgot what fighting Umber Hulks was like. Yeah, I, I, when I, when I went into, it, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make a lot of calls here. I'm like, first of all, beginning of every single turn, you have to decide whether you're looking or not looking. Like, I'm like, right. that's gonna be solid. And then, like, the other thing is, like, it'll look directions. Mm -hmm. Like, I give it like a cone of direction. So, how's the tea money? It's very good. I should probably top off though, because I've only gotten, I got like half of it's remaining, and it's cold. <laughs> Oh, good. Monty, question. You ever have an NPC you want to use as a player character? Yes, Salvador. I've said this many times, but I wish mm -hmm. I didn't put Salvador in this game because I would have loved to have played a vulture death cleric. It would have been a lot of fun. Bring out your den. Gently salivating. I'm excited for TwitchCon. It's going it's to be my first time going to America in like 14 years. Damn. Or not fourteen years, uh, ten years. About yeah, ten years or so. Mm. <sighs> oh, Curdix, with the five hundred bits title, gazed and confused. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. I like that. It's <laughs> a good name. I still want to use the 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 title of Solly wanted to go here. That that made me laugh really that, hard. That that really should be like the last episode of the. Yeah. Solly oh, wanted boy. to go here. I can't wait for tonight for dinner. Chili and beans night. Ooh. And the chili is just raw fucking pieces of steak. Damn. I was a big fatty today. I went and had ramen, then did, then wasn't full, so Aki ordered pizza. <laughs> uh, chocolate zombie, I've, I've never gone to Texas before, no. You should. I, would, I will melt. I, I do not want to go there when it's summer, because I would die. I would Look, it's not... It's, it's not that bad, especially well, with all the central heat, uh, central air. Yeah, we have that's here. right. You guys, it's it's kind of like the opposite. Like you guys, is it like mandatory to have air conditioning down yes. there? Yes, yes. It is yeah. illegal to not have central air in any building in Texas. Yeah, because so. like here, it's like you have to have a heat. You have to have a heating system. <laughs> Where it's like the opposite. You have to have a heating system in houses mm -hmm. because of how cold it gets up here. So. New York, York is good. New York is a place where you think that both of those would be important, but yet strangely yeah. enough, it's not. And I'm about to head to a country that doesn't believe in central heating and cooling in the middle of August. Woo! Uh. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna go top off my tea since you guys are here and we can keep going. Hell yeah. So, fun don't facts. Mind, don't mind me, I'm just gonna eat as quickly as I possibly can. So fun fact, Zito. Uh, yeah. in Japan, in Japan right now, it's not even August yet, and there's already been five thousand cases of heat stroke. Yeah, I saw that tweet you posted. I want to die. Why have I done this to myself? I don't know, cause you, cause we, we, we bleed for our craft. This is true. Except I'm gonna sweat profusely for my craft. We bleed for our craft. Uh, except, except it's just water. You bleed. No, it'll probably be fine. It's honestly no hotter in Japan than it is in Texas right now. Um, it's just... So like, what, 110 is the worst so far? No, it's not even gotten up to that high. I think, like, 97 is it's gotten, so it's not horrible, per se, but there's so much that you do that's outside, there's no centralized cooling, and I was talking to my buddies, uh, Tomo and Hutch, and I'm like, yeah, so what, what temperature do you usually sleep to on super summer nights? And like, uh, 80 degrees, I'm like, oh, what? gotta understand, gotta understand. They are Japanese. They are thin. They don't have a lot of body hair, so they they don't retain heat like we Unlike do. Unlike me, my Italian and Irish bones. Oh, dude, this, with with this hair that makes me look like I'm a fucking yeti person. 
my my Swedish blood and all my goddamn body hair and fat. I'm like I'm like, look, guys, I will pay for your electric bill if we can crank it down about five degrees and keep it there the whole time. We make it sixty nine. I'll do sixty nine. <laughs> Uh, also, by the way, someone in chat just asked me, uh, what other class would I have rather task be if not for Ranger? Sorcerer. Mm-hmm. I, I found, uh, this other game I'm playing, I found out the beauty of being a mage caster. I am Lionel, the Opsu wizard, and Opsu are just, think, awakened possum. Have you hung by your tail yet? Yes. Fantastic. And, I, and I've killed the huh. demon while hung by my tail. I am... I am back, and there's a lot of people we gotta thank. Oh my goodness. Uh, Tobbs with the 500 bits. The episode title, If Looks Could Kill. Oh my, we'll have to see what's in the latter half of this episode, but so far so good. Renfield 88. Good game, and happy birthday. 1,500 bits from Renfield 88. Thank you so much. From Avion Fan with 1,000 bits. My group thought a, gazer was, saw, thought a gazer was cute. Then it yeeted our tanky oath of the crown paladin 30 feet across a chasm. Dude, uh -huh. dude. I love Oath of the Crown. I'm just putting that out there. Oh, thousand bits from Avion Fan with a terrifying visage. Gurdix with a 500 bits. Episode title: Gazed and Confused. That's I like that one. that's I like that. good. That's good. I like that. That's strong. Probu Naga Yari with a thousand bits. We'll, 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 um, we'll see how the rest of this episode goes. Umber Grubs, slimy yet satisfying. Uh, <laughs> you don't pass. You're in the Underdark. You don't pass on food when you get. Daisy Ab with 500 bits. As I say in Shovel Knight, it's Igor. Well, I see. Oscar Bob with a thousand bits. Congrats on managing to survive another 365.25 days since the day of your birth. It's been good so far. Thank you. Flightless 626 with a 1,001 bits. Happy birthday. I'm dying. I'm dying still where Borky makes eye contact with a gazer just to have that awkward moment where they pretend they didn't see each other. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Defender with 500 bits. Hey, I can't wait to listen to this. Work also finished work on the zombie horde creature, a homebrew. It's going to be fun. Oh, my. Vin smokes Sanji with a thousand bits. Artist, please draw that. <laughs> which part? Does yeah, really, which part? I think the, I think that was a reference to uh, what Borky did. And oh, uh, Vin smoke, Master Monster, Captain Nemo, Chaos, Rift Two, Storyteller, Oz, the Talbs, Yuki Usu Usagi, Burnout Bond, Critics, Thank you all so much for the bits. Very nice of you guys. Is everyone here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I just gotta write something down here about some more things. Take your time. I'm still taking a bite out of my uh my chili and steak. I am too. I'm having a bite of my my salad. All right. All right. You guys good to keep going? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you guys One moment <laughs> and okay, I'm good. All right. As you guys proceed doing your watches, no need to check. You guys are safe. Nothing happens. Yay. Yay. Thank God. <laughs> you guys awake at what you assume is a, a dawn of some equivalency hours. in this dark, dark place. Yeah, about eight hours pass. You guys kind of all rise up. You all have got the effects of a long rest, which means you get all your hit die back. You regain all your health. All spell slots are back. All rage slots are back. Hooray. And exhaustion's Yay. gone. Yay! Mm-hmm. Man, I would have cast more spells if I had known we were taking a long rest. Same. It's fine. I didn't expect to bleed through so many magic spells as I did. Right. He called it the gauntlet. Yeah. No, Borky. the Deep Gnomes called it the gauntlet. Bork, you want to you wanna give me a hand with this thing so we can keep going? Oh, you know, five more minutes. Borky, come on. Just slightly, slightly kicks you with his talent. No, I don't want to be in a gauntlet. I want to be in. Like, I want to be in a pillow. Oh, I'm gonna deflate my aura real quick because I don't have that active anymore. Borky, uh, picks, oh, so make it a circle. Borky oh, grabs yeah. the the headless uh the headless umber Hulk things and just uh, drags right. it. Away from Strength me. check with advantage. Oh, that's nice. Yay! We're all being helpful. Ten. Oh. Ten. Oh. You grab it, you drag it, it takes some time, and you're like... Okay. Thank you for the advantage. Borky immediately pops his back. Oh no! My back! I threw it out! Alright. Uh, Alright. Task, you want to take point again? Sure thing. Okay, I'm going to follow Task. That way I can just grab and throw him over my shoulder. By the hey, way, you this, this bread on... By the way, this bread I kept is really good. Oh, hungry. 
I'm a. Uh, I'm checking over the other Umber Hulk just to see if I could see anything. You don't see anything. You got. You see that there's pieces of it missing due to you know your allies. <laughs> Are you looking for something in particular, or? I'm just looking past him into the room behind him. Oh, okay. Roll a perception check then. Oh, smell. It smells bad, but that could have been Task's handiwork. <laughs> it smells like it smells like rotten eggs, kind of. Right, you want some? Ugh, no, 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 thanks. I don't get why you guys are so tricky. Movie. I don't. <laughs> Fuck. I don't. I don't understand why you guys are being so tricky about this. So stuff's pretty good when you're, you're gonna get used to it. Do we need to cut a ration off for the day? Yep. Okay. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, let me, let me, email me get me at this website if you want a pizza roll. Let me. Yeah, let me get a bite of that. Where am I? Oh no, my rations are out of my sheet. What the heck? What does this thing like taste like? Um, I feel like. <laughs> All right, so you know when you eat like a piece of meat and there's like some sort of like like gristle or like really like chunky fat uh, on yeah. it. Imagine it's like ninety percent that and then like ten percent mm. meat. Fantastic. Mm. It's like you bite into it and it literally like pops in your like your your mouth when you bite. It's like, huh? No. Nope. It takes a lot of jaw effort, but it's edible. Does it? It tastes like um like I said like like. Flavorless boiled chicken. Is oh how I would oh my it. god! That sounds so <laughs> bad. <laughs> just gonna just gonna take small bites and then just swallow. There, there's no way it comes in big chunks when you bite into oh, this thing. Oh, you can't. You yeah, can't, you can't bite little pieces. Man, oh, Task yeah. is all over this. I don't know what you guys are about. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us, some of us don't have sharp teeth, Task. Yeah, for Task it's like easier than hell, but for the rest of you guys, it's not. <laughs> All right. Tash so, just gives everyone. Well, well, he has the fucking food in his mouth. He gives like the fucking like the leopard gecko like big eyed smile. Gre Greckles looks on the ground for stones to make grit to grind it like seed. Uh. <laughs> you have to do that for birds. They need that. I know. Gre Greckles, Greckles starts scratching the ground like a fucking chicken and pecking. I need grit. I need grit. All okay, right. I'm sorry. Let's All right. Uh, deep, deep down to the dark we go. Following I will re, I will oh, recast assuming... Detect Magic. Okay, you guys are going to proceed slowly, I'm assuming. Oh, yes, yeah, please. Yeah. Let us stealth. Right. Group, stealth check. 27. Yeah. Dun, dun, 27. 13. Ugh. Four. Oh. 18. <laughs> okay, as you guys begin to move, uh, moving forward through the tunnel, um, you hear like the shifting of stone a little bit. Task as you kind of peer ahead, you hear more. <laughs> Task ears Pew. drop. Oh mother! There are people back. Pew. <laughs> as you look in to see, you see currently over top of a large hole. Oh! Two gazers. Currently, uh, it looks like they don't look like the other one. The other one was green. One of them is like a like yellow color. The other one is like a deep kind of gray color. And they currently appear to be having like a cowboy style shoot off. <laughs> ah! One of them's everyone. like, and then shoots the other one, dodging, like, and then shoots back. <laughs> 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 Now I just see the Umber Hulks being, uh, the Beholder being Hank Hill. So, so. <laughs> Dang, I take it. I, those gazers it. aren't right. Task, uh, as you I, I, as you turn the corner though, Task, and you see them, they kind of stop and go, ah, and they turn towards you, and you just dip yourself back behind the stone wall, and you hear. <laughs> There's two of them. Ow. Uh, I take it you don't want to fight them, right? Oh, that'd be fucking stupid. All right. Unless someone else has a plan, I've actually got something I can do. Uh, panic as you're standing there, you feel something go off with your detect magic. Uh-oh. 
as Tass has kind of backed his, having, you, you get the sense that they are approaching. I, I'll, I'll like, come on, back, 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 back. I'll, I'll try to get their attention. Just come on, get back, back, back. You don't have to uh, fucking tell me twice. Yeah, for real. I'm, I'm gonna start retreating. But we just hide came behind. From here. Hide behind this boy. All right. Please, I will follow. <laughs> it's a good roll, idea. Roll, roll, roll stealth checks for me when you're hiding. <laughs> this is not a group check because you are all individually hiding. Twenty-four. Twenty-two. <gasps> <laughs> Natural one. Okay, can I flavor what happens? Seven. All right. <laughs> can I well, flavor? Pass <laughs> yes, absolutely. As Task and Greckles, uh, you guys just run right behind the Umber Hold. Panic and Borky aren't as fast as you guys. Uh, Borky, Borky trips and pulls down Panic's pants. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Panic just turns around like Donkey Kong, just. Ooh. <laughs> it's like it's like that. You remember, you know, on the suntan lotion bottles, yeah, that yeah, dog yeah. biting the baby. That's like oh, Borky's hands. Oh fuck! He trips. The gazer like stops and freezes in place. Sees this. Um, I'm gonna say for the both of you, roll charisma checks, or Borky, you can give advantage to panic. I give it board, I give him advantage to panic because you know what I do? I cop his butt. <laughs> okay. Charisma Panic, check. Roll, just roll a straight charisma check. Tash just looks over to Greckles. Well, they fucking dead. Yeah, I know, right? Thirteen. Uh, the the gazer kind of frowns. Um, he's gonna shoot. <laughs> oh no, it's a leg man! <laughs> oh come he on! Is, Cat, don't tell not... me you're not at least a little impressed. Well, they don't really know what pants are, so the humor is lost <laughs> on them. Uh, so. <laughs> I roll a d4 here. All right. Uh, aiming for you, uh, Borky, because you got the natural one. Uh, you get shot with a frost ray. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Sorry, did you say that into the mic? A frost ray. Roll a dexterity saving throw for me. 18. Okay. Oh. You, like, front jump and, like, roll, and you watch as this... this this pew noise streaks past you, Panic, almost like grazing your ear, as an eruption of ice explodes on the other end of the cavern, and then he goes, <laughs> and then shoots again. <laughs> God damn it, this thing. Uh, that is going to be on you. I need to make a wisdom saving throw, Borky. God damn. No, not that. <laughs> Hooray, oh, yeah, 18. You get shot, and you feel it kind of funny, but you're like, that was nothing. Hey, he shot the me! Is like, the gaze is like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're gonna die, <laughs> gazer! <laughs> All right, Borky, roll, Borky, roll initiative. Borky, you're gonna <laughs> die, clowns the gazer. <laughs> All right. This is so dumb. <laughs> hey, I'm fine with being 19. <laughs> All right. So Borky, uh, Borky what's your dex? I got two rolls. I already did two. Oh. Right. 19 is above sorry, Gaijin's sorry. eight. Right, right, right. Okay. And then we have task. fourteen. And then we have, then we have panic. <laughs> and then we have Greckles. And then we have this gazer who's having a fucking riot right now. All right. All right, Borky, you're up. This thing just shot you in the nipple, and nothing happened, and it's laughing at you now. It was a, it was a cold ray, right? Was it a laser? Well, the first one that missed you was a, was like an ice beam that missed you. The second one hit you. It was like a shadowy black beam. It hit you, but nothing really happened. You seem yeah. to have resisted whatever effect it had on you. <clears throat> well, I... Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't expect this, but here we go. <laughs> Borky just kind of... Borky uh, walks towards uh, the gazer to do damage. All right. Borky walks up, pulls out Ron Fault. It kind of its eyes like grows even wider as it sees you pull out this giant sword. You're gonna regret that. Borky swings down with Ron Fault. Natural one. Oh ah! my <laughs> god. All right. All right, flavor this however you want, Nadine, because that's I'm gonna beautiful. I'm going to regret it. You, 
you go to swing and the gauge is like ah and then it shoots a beam it shoots two consecutive beams that hit the flat side of ronfold and ronfold in like half a second ronfold goes and ends up right in the ceiling stuck and out of your hands you look at your hands you have nothing and the gauge goes <laughs> 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 Borky goes, ha, 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 ha. Borky pulls out the gruel axe. <laughs> <laughs> See, Zeno, Zeno, I'm hearing that banjo music. I don't know. Is that is that oh, is, yeah. is it a great axe or is it a hand axe, Tatine? It's a hand axe. It is a hand axe. Ha, ha, ha. Borky swings down. 20, oh. soft 20. That'll absolutely hit this thing. Six slashing damage. Six slashing damage. Yeah, you you slash through it. It's still up, but you like gash it along the side, and it goes ah! And screams. <laughs> oh. Uh, does that end your turn? I well, please... you can do a bonus. It's a light weapon, so you can make an offhand strike with the hand axe as a bonus action if you'd like. Okay, well Borky's gonna grab that hand axe and go ha 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 ha, pass it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like trying to trick In it. In his hands, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 it like oh, its oh, eye stalks oh. like tilt side to side, looking at each consecutive throw. Ha ha! Borky hits him. Nineteen. Hit. So this is just flat damage. You don't get your bonus. To ten. Hit, so that's six points six. of damage. Oh no, I did. Uh, which, ten. Oh, I did ten. Which, it's six because you you don't have you just, modifiers. Oh though. right, yeah, sorry. Yeah, and you don't have modifiers. You, it kills it. You you take <laughs> it. It's like distracted, and you go, ha! And you slice it right down the middle, and it folds off into two parts. And <laughs> Borky just <laughs> Borky picks it up. That's so funny, now, yeah, is it? <laughs> it's like Crick. a football in your hand. Borky just, just looks over to Task. Why are we afraid of these again? Borky just throws it towards Task. Cut it up into parts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That ends combat. I'm gonna say. I... Ten. What? Ten? You cut it in half. Uh, you get the eye stalks. So you get four eye stalks. Gazer eye stalks. Okay. Why, why, are we, why, are, Task, why are we afraid of these again? Uh, yeah, I they're kind of pushovers. I don't understand. Like, and Tash just, like, rubs his chin, just, like, scratching his head. I don't understand it. The one I saw at the bar was way more competent. These things are not to be rifled with. They... Their eye stalks have different random effects. This thing could... Remember all those cuts in the wall? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That did that. Yeah, well, what I if, did... If it, well, I did that, so, I mean, I feel like... Could it be a bigger one or a leader or something like that? I don't want to think of a bigger one. Yeah, what if, like, fair. the biggest thing with a giant eye has, like, a scar on the one eye? <sighs> all right, well, <laughs> obviously... It, Damn. It, I know, it's, right? <laughs> obviously, it's into buffoonery. I guess we could use that to our advantage if you want to try and reason with these things. Are they smart enough to be reasoned with? No, no a... they're not smart. Did you see them? That's the advantage we have. Right, okay, right. so if, since I took out this one, I think you guys should try and dust that second one at the same time. I could shoot it from here. Well, let's see if you make the shot. All right, hold on. Uh, I'm, I'm just writing down my stuff real quick. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Yeah, four, um, gaze, uh, four gazer stocks. You just cut them off like you're cutting a cucumber. It's easy. Uh, uh, above game. Well, actually, no. I'll do it in game. Task, let me actually get that first shot, and then you shoot right after. All right. That way. Above game, just to get that sneak, and then you have that pre damage to get Colossus Slayer. Right. Yeah, sure. So I'll hold Task. action when he hits. I Task. hit. Task and Greckles, I want you guys to both roll stealth checks for me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and Here Borky's go. gonna pull Ronfold out of the roof. Yeah, you, you jump up and you grab and you hang. Oh, that that's oh a 10. my god. Okay, yeah, wait. So you guys, when... you guys turn the corner and immediately are met face to face with the second one <laughs> that sees you, sees the gazer blood, and ah, just like dashes with held action. To wait, that. wait, wait, can we get attacks of opportunity? Yes, you can, because it is going to <laughs> <far> away. <laughs> it's just like, it's like, ah, and then it just starts wait, to fly. Wait a minute. Roper whip. I can reach. <laughs> whip that bitch in the face. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Both of you guys roll the hit. Oh, it's uh, 11. Never mind. 13. <laughs> the 13 hits. <laughs> so I, I grab him. You know what? I'm going to do subdue damage and just pull him back. 
All right, you pull it back. He's wrapped up in the whip, and you just kind of, and it's like, ah, as it gets yanked back, the, the cry I'm, echoing I'm, across I'm the gonna, wall. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll, I'm going to roll, you know what? I remember I have something in my bag, and I just go to it. I, I say, I whisper down to it, hey, stop screaming, and we can play a game. <laughs> it tries to bite at you. It's very feral. Uh, roll an insight check on this creature. All right. I'm so stupid. Well. <laughs> okay. Um, seeing it now and holding it, it is like trying to bite bite you like a, like an angry hamster. Like it's like rearing and slobbering at the mouth. This thing is not smart by any degree. Um, to the point where it probably doesn't know how to talk or hold a conversation. And you realize that this is probably a fruitless effort. All right, um, I, I, I step on its fucking giant eye. All right, I'll say for the sake of brevity, yeah, you just take it down. You just kind of like, just you and Greckles take your fist and just punch it to death. And it <laughs> <laughs> we just fucking goon squad this thing. <laughs> Get a couple of kicks in. Yeah. It's, it's pretty brutal. You can curb stop at like dead space a couple times. <laughs> All right, time to harvest, I guess. God damn it! Fuck! A, a nine. I mean, the only thing, the only thing you could use from this thing are the eye stalks, and you did, you did mess up one of them, so you only get three from this one. But you get up to three gazer eye stalks to your inventory. Task is just a, task is just sitting there, just like. Why was I afraid of this thing? What the fuck? <laughs> These guys fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what God wants us to think. <laughs> I love gazers. I really love them. <laughs> they have man. 13 hit points. And they have my favorite thing about and them is they have a negative oh, four to intelligence, which is negative four <laughs> to intelligence. <laughs> They're just <laughs> shitty beholders. <laughs> Behold the shit. These oh. guys, they, they suck. Gaze so upon the badness. <laughs> I, I'm going to roll a perception check. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> well, now that that stupidity is over with. All right. 13. Okay. Uh, you entered the room, the, the room itself at the edge. Uh, there's nothing else in this room except for a lot of laser marks on either side. Um, and what appears to be a giant hole in the ground that goes down. Mm -hmm. Um, well, we don't Monica, want to go down that. Could I do an investigation to look for the eye symbol? Sure, absolutely. It would mean entering the room, though, so you will have to enter the room to look sure. around. That's fine. Uh, um, 20. 20. Nah, you don't see anything. Before okay. he enters into the room. Even, even, and the thing that stands out too, even the laser shots with the 20, even the laser shots you see in this room aren't similar to the ones that you've seen with that symbol. Gotcha. Is it, are they smaller? Uh, bigger. They're like a more, obviously more intentional line, obviously since it's drawing a picture. So. Oh, so the, so, and, and these, these, um, these pictures, you said they were like carved in, correct? It was like evenly carved in. Yeah. Mm. So, here's the thing I want to ask you guys. That big hole there in the middle of the room. I got a, I got a bad, I got some bad, I got some bad mojo coming my way about that hole in the center of the room. Yeah, does anyone want to look down the hole? Oh, no! Not, not really. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. Just an option, guys. Sorry. Well, Task, why don't you use the uh, bird and fly on down there? See what's up? It would probably be better to use that for scouting it. And ahead. fly it back. And don't forget to do that part. Well, you guys need to be ready if, if something chases well, you don't, to fight it off. Well, if you see something, just be, like look at it and fly back without like slapping it on the ass or whatever. I really what? don't think I really don't think this is a good <clears throat> idea. I don't either, actually. Alright, fine. It's just a mystery hole. And the mystery will stay forever. Let's, let's keep moving. Let's stealth around leaves. this. I'm paranoid. I'm stealthing around the hole. Yeah, same. Um, Money, is that a wall to the south down here? Yes, yes, it is. Okay. I fall into the hole. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you do. <laughs> no, what? You, yeah. You watch as you guys are sneaking past. 
You guys hear a ah! as Tash just falls into what, the Where'd Tash go? Uh, as soon as I see him fall, I, I just chuck out the grappling hook again. You really? throw it out, Tash, you tumble and fall, and then you collide in something soft. Oh, you no! And as you scramble and, and pull yourself up off the ground, you kind of look around and you, you blink twice. You hear a voice in your head. Oh, fuck's sake. Ah! Hello! <laughs> you see this creature? No! You see what no. creature? No! You we see what creature? Oh! Uh, if you amazing! Oh. Yeah. oh my god! <laughs> it's Jerry the Fluff! <laughs> what? This is my fault. I did this. <laughs> yes, you should feel bad. Our Artwork by Citra King. Thank you so much. What, you is, so oh, my, what is? Oh God. Okay. You see a you see a large flump task as you scramble up. It appears you collided with it and both crash to the ground. As this is a very like basically a very tall cavern hole, you crash into the soft exterior of his head, but collide down onto the ground. As he kind of collects himself, he raises up what looks to be a drow sword, and he's wearing a series of drow armor pieces, including a helmet that is he's wearing as a hat between his eye stalks. <laughs> like, like a lolita, like like a, a like a, a goth lolita would wear a hat. Oh, yeah. very tight. It's eye. like it's like it's obviously not for function, it's for aesthetic. Mm. Um and you see his eye stalks have these various different spots and you recognize this flump from the visions of Solly's childhood. He is bigger though. He is much bigger now. He's he's about oh my god. He is at least five feet wide all the way around. He's he's quite big. Yes. Hello. I am going to assume you are a flump. Had you guess? Okay. What are we hearing above? Above? You hear nothing. You hear nothing because oh my god, Tash is dead. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's I gone. Let's just say I actually know of your race quite well. Really? Yes. Uh, tell me, does a woman by the name of Sully Andrus ring a bell? Uh, you watch as the flump turns a deep blue color. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a long time ago. Well, uh, you'll be happy to know that She's actually quite alive, and we're actually here on her behalf. What? No way! Yes. Uh, can, do you have, like, a dial that's below 11? <laughs> What's what? an 11? Uh, What's thank, a dial? Thank, 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 thank God. Well, I, well, obviously, you don't seem to want to harm us, so I guess there's no harm in telling you my name. I am Task of Iron Oath. Hi, Task! Task, shin, like, wincingly holds his hand out for a handshake. Yeah, you get one of the tentacles uh, kind of wraps around your uh, wrist and... Above <laughs> above ground, Borky is literally pounding the ground. Damn it! Why did we lose Task? Damn it! I should have been there! I should have died a stupid death! But it was Task! <laughs> you hear that voice up there? He's crying! Yeah, he, he thinks I'm dead. He, he he thinks I'm dead. Uh, That's three of my companions who also work with Sully. Wow! Sully sure got a lot of friends! Mm, boy, you wouldn't believe it. Actually, would you mind helping me get back up here so I can introduce them to you? What is your name, by the way? Jerry! Fuck off, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Monty, I hope you got water. You're... Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab tea already because I'm almost out. This artwork is amazing, by the way. It is really I'm, good. I'm so upset that a stupid jape I did <laughs> became a fucking actual character. You're welcome. It's your lineage now. <laughs> Hello! I can only imagine how the live channel of the Discord is right now. <laughs> oh, God. Ah! Yeah, I can carry you up, but I, I don't know about getting them all down. No, no, we don't want to be down. No, Actually. you do! You don't want to be up there! Why is that? Well, that's the gauntlet! Yes, well, we heard that from the gnomes. We're trying to get through the gauntlet. To well, the Undersun? Yes. That's where I'm going! Oh, excellent. Actually, you know, if any friend of Sully Andrus is a 
friend of mine, how about we collaborate and join forces and go down to find the other son together? Oh, well, I've kind of sworn allegiance to someone else. But I can help you if they like you. And who is this allegiance you sworn to? Oh, well, I'm not supposed to say his name, but he's called the Great Eyed One. Oh, God damn it. Borky upstairs, we are gathered here today to pay respect <laughs> to our friend Tash, the Kobold Ranger. He died as he lived, falling. You, we've been seeing those symbols around. Oh, you mean the eyeballs? Yes. Yeah, those are his. Hmm, I see. Well, even if we don't swear an oath to this person that you serve, you must understand, it might, you, you must understand that you know, being in numbers and having a common goal is worth, you know, joining forces in some way. Oh, yeah, he's all about that. Well, I meant us I, in the present. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess you guys, too. I mean, I don't, I don't know you that well. Hey, we, we know Sully, and hey, all things considered, if we finish what we came here to do, we could take you back to her. Oh, I, I, I'd have to ask permission from the big guy. Well, how about we gather my friends and we talk about that together? Okay! He just kind of, like, floats underneath you, uh, okay. lifts you up, and he kind of gently rises, if, like, if, almost like a like an elevator platform. If Task was still here, I know what he would say. He'd say... Forky, shut up. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Forky, Homer Simpson screeches. Task! You watch. You're alive. <laughs> You watch as two eyeball stalks follow Task up the hole and stare at, at everyone. And you Ta hear all of you guys hear a voice in your head go, Hello! Oh, by the gods. What on oh. earth? Task, like, steps down from there and he kind of, like, ushers Jerry to, like, float beside him. Yeah, he floats next to you. Gentlemen, this is Jerry, the flump, Sully Andrus's friend. What? No kidding. Oh, what? No way. No way. No way. What? Of all I told places! You we, I, told, I told you we all heard about you. You watch as, uh, as, uh, Jerry turns into a very blushy sort of pink color. Ah, oh, gee! I'm glad she still talks about me! I thought she would have forgotten me a long time ago! Oh, trust me, no. she has not forgotten you. No, she's... Oh. She, yeah. Jerry, she's... You, you and your people are the very reason that she continues on. Really? You see, like, some sadness come in. It's a real shame. There's only a few of us now. What? <laughs> Borky's just so confused. Hello. You, Hi. You guys, re no, you remember what happened in the vision, right? Right. I yes. certainly do. Yeah. Uh, oh. there, there is something though that is a little uh, odd. Jerry, uh, tell them who it is. Like, you don't have to explain his name, but tell them who you follow. Oh, the great eyed one! Uh oh. Task looks, oh. Task looks to all three of them and just like squints well, a bit. To be fair, I'm detecting uh, some concern in your emotional state. I, well, I, I'm concerned. Do we know if the great eyed one's like a bad guy, like the lady taking the voices? Like she's bad because she's taking the voices. But I, the great eyed oh, one. Oh, the great eyed one is great. He's, I mean, he's really nice. What does he, what did, what does he do that made you wish to, to swear allegiance to him? Oh, well, the Undersun is a safe place to be. Mm. So if you don't want to get eaten alive, you can stay there, but you just have to follow his rules. Money? Uh, insight? Sure, absolutely. Please? That was a seven, but that's fine. <laughs> he seems kind of dumb, but he seems nice. Yeah, well, I mean, ta 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 Task is just going to string this along since he first fucking, like, you know, spoke to him. Wait a minute. Well, Did well, Jerry. All things considered, I, like, kind of... Hello! Like, ginger. Like, I hesitantly, like, grab one of his tendrils to try to, like, you know, at least be somewhat of a... You're touching me! <laughs> yes, I... I, 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 I... <laughs> yeah, yes, I, I know, and I... And I hate... Trust me, I hate it, Jerry, but honestly... <laughs> okay, uh, that's... That's kind of... You see him kind of get a little blue again, and he's like, well, okay, well, that was uncalled for, but yeah, okay. <laughs> task, just... Tr task, all right, I'm gonna rebound this. Jerry, I was kidding. What's a kidding? I was joking, funny, haha, -ha, when you say something you don't mean to in a jovial way. Oh! Ah! <laughs> 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 
I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy this is coming out of you and not me, Monty. I can't handle oh, this episode. I know, right? I can't handle this episode. Well, in any case, Jerry. Uh, <laughs> yes, we, we, all four of us are actually trying to find the Undersun, right, gentlemen? I'm sorry. I'm, hold on. I, we weren't supposed to come down here to find another person who's supposed to fight with Sony. It, well, Borky just uh, points at Jerry. It, it this? Is this? I have a question! He raises up one of his tentacles. Okay, what, what's, what's your what's question? What, what? Does Solly still speak of Orin? Yes, she yep. does. Why? Oh, that's great! The Great Eyed One speaks nothing but about Orin! I was actually going to ask about what? that. What does, what does the Great Eyed One say about Orin? Oh, great things! Like it's powerful, displays the light, makes us ever vigilant, all that sorts of things. So good, positive things about Orin, is that correct? Yeah! Wow, thank God. Like, he'll, I, I, I imagine he could feel all of us just like, a weight has been lifted off our shoulders. Monty, can I incite that? Because in character, sure. that's so fishy sounding. Go, go ahead. 19? He seems genuine, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Thanks he's a lot like you guys! He came so from the surface, too! Greckles is actually going to reach- Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> Pop the brakes on that one. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll- what is from, he? From the surface. Yeah! How big is he? Ah, uh, pretty big! Does he look like you? Mm, honestly, we're not supposed to talk about him without him there, it's rude! Uh, it's, that's fair, that's, that's fair. That's fair, it's fairly bright. Yeah, he came from a temple on the surface! Do you that mind is... if we see him? Oh well, yeah, of course! I'm sure he'd love to see you! Um, uh, lead the definitely. way then? Yeah. Would you mind taking us there and we could travel together? Ah, uh, okay. He just begins to descend slowly down do the I, hole. Do we get I on or what? Oh there. my, this is, I'm sorry, this is crazy. Porky steps on. This is crazy. I, Can we all fit on him? No, he's just like a medium creature. Yeah, I was about to say, how deep <laughs> right. is the hole? Maybe, maybe uh, one at a time. Like 80 feet deep. It's oh, pretty shit. deep. Okay. Yeah. Well, Tass could get on him at least. You, you jump on, you kind of like sit, you kind of like, you kind of like sit on top of the, the helmet he has on yeah. his, uh, on his head. I, uh, uh, Tess, this looks like, I, I apologize if this is uncomfortable. I don't mind! J Jerry, how strong are you? Not very! <laughs> no, I was afraid of that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. I, I hand the guys the rope. I was about to say, I have rope, but it's not long enough. I, I have rope that's super fucking long. Uh, so hold on, let me double check my stack. Have, you guys have all that rope you bought from the Deep Gnomes, so. Yeah, I have 120 feet of rope. Is there a, is there a stalag, uh, stalactite yeah. that we can tie there, it to? There's like a hooked rock you could probably easily just get <laughs> sure. on. Okay, cool. This, this, this episode is being described as a funny version of Apocalypse Now, and I can't help but <laughs> not disagree with that analysis. I, I still love the name Gazed and Confused. Cause I, uh, I'm gonna need more tea here in a little bit. I'm just gonna warn you guys. That's fine. Um, so I'll, I'll not one up. I'll not, right. I'll okay. not up the rope, and I guess we'll I'll, just descend. I'll, uh, I'll, no, no, no. I'll, I'll ride down with Jerry and make sure the line's fine all the way down. And you didn't want to okay. go into the hole. That's fine. I didn't, I didn't choose it. <laughs> Look, we found a shortcut. Let's not worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so what do we need to do, Monty? Uh, for okay. anyone who's going down the hole, I need you either to choose acro actually athletics for everybody because you are descending down. Ah, so beans. Acrobatics. Ah, beans and Twenty-two. Oh my god, the natural one on the other yeah. side. Nineteen. Uh, Pretty good. <laughs> Three. Three. You'd you think the panic. rogue would be able to climb. Oh, sorry. Uh, panic. Uh, <laughs> Greckles and Borky. Easily enough, you guys descend down. Uh, panic, you go and you hear a snapping noise and oh, no. uh, you fall past Jerry and uh, Task. Uh, Jerry is going to make a dexterity saving throw to grab you. Can I assist him? Shit! You want to give him advantage for sure? Yes. Shit! Uh, good thing you gave him advantage because his first roll was a 2 and his second roll was a 17. So let me just quickly grab his stats here. So I, so I just like, I pat Jerry on the, uh, like on the side of his high stock and I show him, hold your arms out like, hold your tentacles out like this. Oh, like this? And immediately panic collides into his arms and you guys are both dragged down. No one takes damage, but it's a rough landing. 
And as you land, you see a uh, cloth wrapped long object kind of fall out from, from Jerry's arm, right? Kind of ding, 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 lands on the ground. And you see a faint glow coming from it. Oh, are you okay? Can I investigate that glowy blade? I would say I perception think that... check. Okay. I think so. Good catch, Jerry. Thank you. 18. It's your sun blade. Uh, Jerry. Hi! Did you by chance find that sword in a body of water or falling? Yeah, down I did! It's really crazy, right? Oh, That's... the great hide one will love this! Uh, Jerry? Greckles will actually pull out Sully's holy symbol. That's actually mine. Oh! I I didn't steal it, honest! No, 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 Jerry, Jerry. It's okay, it's okay. I've actually been looking for it. May I oh, have it? Man. May, may I have it back? Um, can we see what the great eyed one says? That's you know what? That's absolutely fine. Cause he would really want it. A uh, question then. Would you allow me to use it for any fights that we have? And once we get near the great eyed one, I can return it to you. Oh, there shouldn't be any fights on our way through the safe path. The sa that is fair. You hear that, guys? The safe path. <laughs> I yeah! will I I will take that. I, I am a fan of that path. This undersound right. is sounding better and better all the time. Follow Go. behind me! And you watch uh, just Jerry float forward. I need more tea. Talk about yourself for a couple seconds. Can we just point out here that Jerry the Flop, he, the one from that story we heard all those years ago, is the guy we bump into where we accidentally fall down a hole. That is absolutely crazy. Forky, I can't hear you. I'm mentally deaf right now. That is not true. I'll, I'll yell louder. You see? Task! It's crazy! Tass grabs him by the mouth. Shut up, you want things upstairs to know we're here. Oh, no, Tass, we killed them all. Not the giant. We killed most of them. So, uh, hey, can I ask a question? Well, uh, yeah, sure. okay. What is, what is Sully said about me? Nothing but good things. She misses you. Oh. I, I miss her too. I mean, she was you, a nice kid, you know. You you could use that orb to send a message to her. Mm. Huh? That's task. Yes. Uh, or no, I'm sorry, panic. Panic. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll just be over here wasting my spell slots so you can fucking live. Gary, <laughs> <laughs> we we have an item called a uh, a scrying stone that you could actually send a message to her. Oh. Um, you see him get kind of, uh, he kind of turns a bit of like a, like a weird kind of yellowy color. It's been so long, and we didn't leave at the best of terms. Trust me, she would be way more excited about knowing that you actually are around than you not being alive. Um, Greckles, you would pick up on this. Mm hmm You think it's a great idea, but you realize, is Sully ready for it, though? Yeah. Actually, Task, all things considered, she's been hurt by a lot of her past, and I don't know if it would be a good idea to traumatize her like that. If we could ease her into it, that's one thing, but it would be just so traumatic, and she's had so much trauma already. Task holds his hand out. Give me the orb, then. Uh, okay. You know, this is one a day. No, I know. I'm going to send a message to Sully. Okay, 25 words. All right, I have to, I'm gonna type it to you, I guess. Okay. Type it to you, you guys are walking down this this corridor. Yeah, you guys talk amongst yourselves, I'm gonna type this to Monty real quick. So Jerry, what have you been doing all this time? We heard about the horrible thing that happened, but how did you get away? Well, I played dead. <laughs> good, that's, that's and they, good. And they didn't notice I was alive. All right. And then after that, I just wandered for a while. We heard about this place called the Undersun, and it sounded a lot like the story Sully told us. So we went there. That's interesting. Is there anything else you can tell us about the Undersun? Uh, you have to see it to understand it. That's fair. I know it's like blue. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Does yeah. it sh does it, hmm, does it shine like the sun? You'll see. Okay, okay. It's yeah. better to have it be a surprise. Uh, there we go. 
I right. sent it to you. Okay. Here, one sec. All right. Sally responds with. I'm back. So you guys still there? Okay. Back. It's fine. Welcome no, back. M Monty's now giving me a response back from Sully. Deep, intense cave sounds. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. Skitter. Skitter, skitter. Orby one, Orby two. Orby, no, you hear Orby rules at a distance in Undercommon. All right, one second, I just want to make sure. All right, this is definitely set. All right. Uh, you hear a response task as you're walking down this this fairly reasonably. It, this tunnel you guys are walking on appears to be, like, man-made. It's definitely not a natural thing. It appears to have been carved. You hear a response go, Task, hello? That's... Uh, uh, oh, wow, I, um... Really? Uh, they didn't all... I... Uh, thank, thank you, I... I, I need to talk to Pilchard. And it just cuts out. Task gives Panic the orb back. She got and? the message. I hope you didn't traumatize her. No, well, <laughs> well, traumatize is, she... is a, traumatize is a strong word. I feel that she is shocked, and rightfully so, but she sounds like she actually sounds somewhat relieved in a way. To summarize it, bewilderment would probably be the right emotion. Yeah, bewilderment is probably you the best You bewildered way. her? She feel... I, I feel as though this was the right course of action. She actually... I She is speaking with others about it as we... She is speaking to Pilchard as we speak about this. But from the sound of her voice, I feel like this was the right thing to do. Okay. And, Jer and, and, Jer and Jerry... Hi! She's very ecstatic to know that you are alive. Oh, that makes me happy! Uh, Jerry. Hi! Hi. Um, did you, uh... Are we gonna respond with hi every time? <laughs> uh, did you happen to see anybody down here that, uh, looks like me? No, but the great-eyed one did! Oh! And yeah! what, did, what did the great-eyed one feel about that? I don't know! Fucking goddamn... Great. Jerry, um, I got a question. That's something. Hi. Hi. Um, how did you get f here from where you met Soli? Well, I played dead. Okay. So they didn't kill me. Got it. And then I traveled for a while, okay. heard about this place, and tried to get here as soon as possible. Do you know of a way back up to the surface? Well, you just came from that way. No, I mean like the surface surface, like well above the earth, like well above the underdark. Oh, like the great, the great eyed one's surface. Only the great eyed one knows the way to the surface. Uh, okay, oh, fair enough. There is a way to the surface. Okay. Okay, good. Well, at least we have an escape route. Yeah, he mentioned something like a lake, and then you just have to float upwards. Oh no! He kind of turns and looks at the four of you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll manage. Uh oh! <laughs> Hello! 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 As you guys, as you guys proceed forward, you begin to see a soft bluish glow in the tunnel. Oh goodness! You guys look up and you see almost like um, dollar size, um, not the bills, the coins, dollar size stones in the various different parts of the cave these bright bioluminescent blue and white pearlescent stones that are just giving off the starlight, this natural sort of calming light. The moment it hits your face, you immediately feel like better, if that makes sense. It's not like a, like a, it's healing you, but it's just like, oh, it feels really calming. nice on the skin and it's very calming and you can feel you're getting vitamin D. Um... <laughs> <laughs> vitamin D. Yeah, exactly, thank you. Down in the underground. <laughs> um, and it's this beautiful corridor tunnel you see just 
arrays of it, almost like a, a, a star system, as you proceed forward. Jerry, what's what's this light? That's the other sun. Oh, interesting. The Great Eyed One said when it fell, it turned into many, many pieces. Where did it fall from? It fell from Orin. Huh? Uh, oh. Directly from Orin. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. 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 When, when did it fall? I don't know. A long time ago. Okay. Couldn't be that then. Huh? Well, let's 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 go meet this great eyed one friend of yours, I suppose. No sense oh! of delaying it. This is just a teaser, by the way. And you watch as Jerry kind of foom, 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 moves forward onto this are, almost balcony like rock precipice. Are they embedded in the stone? The Yeah, the they are like they are in the stone. Almost like a crystallization formation in a way. But it, it appears ah. to be like it appears to be like jutting out where the stone has been cleared out. <laughs> Me. Jerry kind of goes forward, exiting the cave, and stands in this bright, uh, open space. And he kind of waves to you with the sword, winging in the air, like flailing it around this <laughs> drow blade. Oh, all right. You guys uh, step oh. out, and what you see takes your breath away. The Bio Shroom's cavern was huge. This one is twice as large, Ooh. at least. Oh, man. You see a sprawling... And the, the reason you can tell is you can actually physically see it. There's no darkness here. You see a sprawling stone land awash with the whites and blues of a massive crystal, a singular crystal embedded in the ceiling of this cavern that shines like an underground sun across Damn. the land. Wow. It is over a massive uh, amount of water, blue shimmering water, almost like moonlight on a lake that sits on one half of this massive cavern. You see, you see what looks like a village or a city of some sort, stone ruins in various different pockets and spaces. Um, Task and I'm gonna say Task, Greckles and Panic roll history checks for me. Actually. Probably just panic and task. I'm gonna say panic and task roll history checks. Here I go. All right. 19. Okay. Natural, Natural 20. 20. Um, in your study of the Undersun, um, as well as other studies of the Underdark, this appears to be old Durgar um, cityscape or Dwarven, ancient Dwarven or Durgar cityscape. Um, mm -hmm. Notably, there are no roofs anywhere. They don't need roofs. There's no. Mm -hmm rain or weather um and you see hills almost like like mountain peaks in this under sit like this under sun environment you see trees you see uh some mushrooms as well uh and you can see bats flying through the air like birds on the wind well what do you think impressive it's, it's amazing my wow. god this it is an old deep dwarf city but they're trees. How are, how are they sustaining? The under sun, of course. <laughs> Silly. And he kind of floats down a set of steps that lead down. Tess, what? like, kind of like, just like pats Greckles on the side of the arm. Magic. It's always I don't magic. Know if it's that simple. What mm. color is the crystal, by the way? Sorry. I... It is it... like white. Oh, okay. White and blue, which, as you guys are seeing it now, your memories take you back to when you were in L Liza's embrace after fighting still Stillhavity, fighting with a quotation mark. Um, when Orin turned their head and you saw that shattered eye, it's the exact same color as that. Mm, that's what I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, boy. oh my God. Oh, that's what I thought it was. Hey, Jerry, I'm rather curious. You're wearing a odd set of armor and you're holding a drow sword. Yeah. And how? I don't mean to be rude, but asking, but uh, how confident do you feel in your combat prowess? I'm okay. You're you're fine with swinging that sword around confidently. Well, no, I mostly try to get away. <laughs> mostly, it's a status thing. It shows I've been very loyal to the Great Eyed One. Okay. I can't 
on uh. on suit. What what is that one thing from Fallout? The thing that has the the butler. Oh, Cogsworth. Cogsworth. He floats like Cogsworth in my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty That's accurate. Every time he moves, much. he goes. He goes. Boom, boom, boom. Looks That's looks over it. looks over to Borky, Mister Fuckface. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say to me, Task? <laughs> Mr. Bitch! <laughs> Panic! <laughs> Don't you Alright, you guys proceed down a very well carved out series of stairs. Um, you guys make your way down and you can see far off like a big city. Like like almost like a um, Machu Picchu, sort of like I think I'm saying that wrong. Oh my God! What's no, that's right. That's, that's right. accurate. Oh yeah. Yes, okay. Machu Picchu. Yeah, it's, it's basically like Machu Picchu. Um, that is resting on the side of this this sort of like mountainside that is flanked by what you now know as the Undersun. Mm. Um, you guys cast shadows. It is very bright. Like it is extremely bright. Um, you guys descend down the staircase, and at the bottom you see two figures standing. Um, you see a, uh, you see, like, two lizard-like, almost, like, hairy lizard-like creatures, um, oh. kind of standing at the bottom. Oh, Jerry, what are those? Oh, oh, that's right! Plug your nose! Uh, does so. <laughs> does so? I keep forgetting people have noses! <laughs> All right. Forky you plugs his nose, too. Stairs. You yep, see, same. uh... You see these two um, lizard-like creatures. I'm just going to pull up their stats here real fast. Uh, they're currently holding what looks to be spears, like actual wooden spears. Uh, they're wearing very simple, um, like, similar to the to the Deep Gnomes, like, bug armor. Okay. Uh, one of them's, like, kind of picking his nose with a long claw and kind of flicking it away. <laughs> Classy. But as you guys proceed forward, uh, you do get hit with a smell um, that is very strong and uh you watch as uh jerry kind of floats forward and greets the two you don't hear the conversation because jerry Telepathy. speaks telepathically yeah yeah uh, the two kind of like lean over and stare and kind of point towards uh the city and uh, jerry is just kind of like you can tell there's you can obviously tell there's some sort of communication going on um and jerry actually shows off the sun blade and the and they both look on their kind of like Whoa, like kind of like have to kind of cover their eyes because it's also very bright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, they kind of like nod and kind of chat what you assume for a while. At one point you see as Jerry turns into like a really bright pink and almost throws back his head as if he's laughing, but there's just silence. It's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, eventually they kind of, they kind of give you guys like, even with Jerry there, they're kind of suspicious about you guys. Um, and uh, one of them kind of walks up to you guys as you're all kind of holding your nose. Mm. And uh, they speak. They do speak common because they are acolytes of the Great Eye One. Uh, they walk up and go, Oi. Ah, greetings. Hello there. Greetings. Yes, yeah, so you, know, well. you know the rules of the Undersun? Please no. indulge us where we just got here. No killing, no stealing. No denouncing Orin. If you want to fight over business, you fight outside the Undersun. With a light, don't touch. And what if we are loyal to Orin? Same rules apply. If you're loyal to Rowan, Orin, Rowan, Rowan. The other one turns around and goes, Orin, Orin. Words are hard. If you're loyal to Orin, shouldn't be a problem. No problem at all. What if yeah, you... I think we've got that taken care of. What if... These terms are acceptable. Uh, what if you fall in love? What? <laughs> we make Jerry the flop today. There's no, there's no telling what might happen next. Are you hitting on me? You wish. Gre at, at this point, <laughs> Greckles is actually going to untuck the symbol and just wear it openly. Task wants to try something. He okay. says it. He says it draconic. Do you understand me? What was that? Task like looks like waves his hand down. It's me, brother. I can speak our language. Is he speaking in tongues or something? He points to points to you, Task, and looks at everyone else. I apologize. I just wanted to see if you could speak draconic. He's speaking in a tongue. I can speak in tongues. 
Uh, Jerry, you got weird friends. He kind of turns and looks at the flump. And Jerry just kind of takes two tendrils and kind of like wiggles them like... <laughs> 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 oh, you can almost hear it. You can almost hear it as, I know, <laughs> like very excitedly. Chat's time. All right. Any trouble, we turn you to stone. You got that? Are you the guys who so. are you the guys who get people stoned? <laughs> no, that's the great eyed one. Does it to set an example? Anyone coming into the undersun know to follow the laws. Task kind of like bites the bottom of his lip, putting two and two together when he said that. Oh, mm, okay. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Task, Task bites his lip as he's walking past. Oh fuck. What's wrong? Oh, that was pleasant. Can I undo my nose now? Yeah, you're good. Jerry. Jerry, Jerry um, when we were up on the surface, we, when we were in the gauntlet, we were attacked by these small green creatures called gazers. Yeah, those guys are pests. Um, <laughs> does, the great, does, does the great eyed one bear any likeness to those creatures? I'm not allowed to talk about the great eyed one when he's not here, remember? Very well. Let's That's just keep on going. He doesn't like them, though. Okay. He thinks they're like pests. They get in the city all the time. Is there an infestation of them? A little bit. Hmm. You guys begin to follow Jerry. Uh, there's a very clearly a path that is used frequently. Um, and as you begin to proceed forward, you begin to realize the ruins are a lot bigger than you uh, <sighs> saw from, from on top. As you walk into the city, you see Miyogi. You see those bug-like creature mm -hmm. um, kind of hanging out. You see that they are like traveling with those big gray renders. Um, they're kind of like sleepy lazily. There aren't homes here. It looks like people occupy space by using like, like carpet or mats. So oh. that's, that mat or that carpet is their home. Hmm. Um, there's no walls, really. There's there's a few places that have walls, but they appear to be, like, like food stores or, like, and not, like, stores to sell things, but, like, places to store food, um, pens to keep various different insects and animals. Um, everyone else who appears to be a native here lives just on a carpet in a random space in, in this space. Um, you see some drow soldiers, militia, exact same militia that you guys have fought. And they kind of see you and kind of narrow their eyes. And then the other one kind of like, you know, kind of elbows uh, the soldier in the side and just kind of points towards the, the undersun and goes, mm -mm. and then they keep walking. And they kind of give you a stink eye. Uh, you see, weirdly, like Niyogi and drow conducting business. You see a couple deep gnomes, um, very grizzled looking deep gnomes. Uh, also doing some business as well. Uh, you see those lizard-like creatures as well, but you definitely, the moment you get close to them, there's definitely, like, everyone just holds their nose, and then as they leave, they kind of un-let go of their nose. Mm, uh, bad. And as you're walking by, Borky, you feel something grab your, your arm. Just like... Borky stops and turns the direction where he was grabbed from. You see a Niyogi with its eel-like neck kind of eyeballing you up and down. And it kind of turns towards, uh, it turns towards, um, turns towards the rest of your party, uh, working and goes, I, 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 I don't, I don't know what it's saying. I don't know what to do. How tender is the hold? Uh, it's like, it's not harsh. Okay. It's like, he's like, it's like looking at you. It's like, kind of like gently caressing the muscles and kind of looking at your, your teeth and your head and your eyes. Sir or madam, I do not want any. Um, uh, <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Hi! Uh, do you understand everybody talking around here? Oh yeah, I could just, yeah, let me just, you watch, it's just Jerry goes silent. He kind of, Jerry turns out and goes, he wants to know who's, uh, who he belongs to. It's a good question, actually. Wait, no one! No one. Oh, don't mind the Niyogi. Everyone in their tribe belongs to someone else. Oh, they think he's a slave. Oh, yeah. that's, 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 oh, that's awkward. Uh, can you yeah, he wants to know if you're for sale. Depends how much you, how much you offer. <laughs> you watch as Jerry turns. 
And the creature goes, and it pours out what looks like um, like three rubies, um, what looks like maybe like a diamond as well, uh, and a few other mm -hmm. precious gemstones. Borky oh puts his hands up, mm -mm, shaking his head. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> it kind of hisses at you and like, grabs its gemstones and kind of scuttles away. Nope, nope. Six rubies, that's what I'm worth. Borky keeps walking. And two diamonds. At mm. least, at least task. Oh, okay. Just getting forgotten over here. Hey, <laughs> you've been quiet ever since we made up with Mr. Flump Jerry. He asked me a question. I know, but he usually talks more. Well, now that we've seen this place, Panic, you have any insight or any clue as to what she might be doing down here? <laughs> I, other than stealing voices, apparently, I have no idea. Um, if I Never told met... you a secret, could you keep it a secret? We promise. Okay. Uh, you hear just in your head. The rest of you guys don't hear anything as Jerry kind of pinpoints towards you. Uh, you, Panic, goes, From what I heard, she was looking for a door. Door? Did she elaborate? Nope! I got ushered out quickly. Was she talking with this great-eyed <laughs> one? Oh, yeah. About the door? Yep. Just sort of looks to the side for a second. Trying to take it in. You guys begin to head up a very steep staircase, which definitely a victim of time. Um, it's kind of peeling away and, and there's stone parts missing. Um, you see various different, um, like what used to be probably statues, you assume of, of some sort of pop, like famous, like dwarven figure. The hardest thing is figuring out whether this is Durgar or just straight dwarf, because it, it kind of overlaps quite a bit. This is definitely like Alavast dwarf of some kind. You guys proceed up the stairs, and you see this large stone, almost like cathedral castle sort of combination. It's it's not. It doesn't have the delicate look of a normal like cathedral, but mm. it is a solid stone structure um, with various different accoutrements, like statues. Um, you see offerings as you guys walk up these steps to various what kind different of offerings? stones. Uh, you see bowls of insects. Uh, you see uh, what looks to be uh, weird, very strange, but there's like one that's just like a bunch of sticks, like just a bunch of little sticks. Mm. Um, some with leaves on them, some without leaves on them. Uh, you see offerings of uh, not coin, but like gold nuggets, like little lumps of gold, um, lumps of silver, copper. Um, there's one bowl that is like almost filled to the brim um, with like rubies, sapphires, diamonds all sorts of things and um, various different pottery. There's a lot of pottery here, you notice, like a lot mm -hmm. of like um, kiln burned pottery. Uh, you see offerings of, of food, of um, like fish, three eyed fish that are just lying kind of half baked in this, this under sun. Uh, good pull, um, good pull on that reference. I was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just various other random, there's things you don't, you can't even tell what they are, some of them. I make sure Orbi Orbi one and Orbi two are close at hand, as they are not put in any of these bug offering jars. Yeah, the bugs are small. They're not like they're like really pretty beetles or like really really nice beautiful like dragonflies. Um, they don't look appear to be like like insect like like do edible you, do, insects. Do you mind if I fluff how these guys have been getting around with me? Like sure, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm gonna have like one is like uh, horizontally like on like his spine so like just above the base of his tail and the other one is like just behind the back of his neck so it's almost like a weird it almost looks like a weird continuation of the plate mail on his uh armor okay yeah 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 for sure yeah that absolutely works they they haven't been doing too much except for like a little bit of bubbling at the mouth but beyond I mean, I've, that. I've been giving well I, I made sure to give them some bug bear and some larvae because these boys need to eat too <laughs> yeah for sure they're, they're bottom feeders, so they'll eat basically anything. Um, but they do seem quite content with the fresh meal. Oh, uh, yeah. You proceed forward, and the, the closer you get to this large cathedral castle, the bigger it gets. Um, eventually, you reach the front doors, which are 
wood. They are wooden doors mm. with beautifully carved depictions on them of uh, roll a knowledge religion check. Uh, Greckles and <laughs> actually just Greckles would know this. Let's see here. What Show that faith, Boyo. I'd love to. I actually have a plus. Come on. 21. 21. Uh, you see what appears to be Oren on one side of the door. Um, all the way running up the door. Um, at least a, a, I mean, for someone who probably hasn't seen the god, it's a very decent depiction of it. Right. And on the other side is another similar but smaller figure. Um, you're able to detect that that is Ilene. This This door is basically a creation myth story about where Ilene came from. Uh, but obviously kind of, you know, like, oh, look at how awesome Oren is. Oren's so good they made another god, essentially. That's actually really tight lore. So Oren, in effect, I would assume through the moon, air quotes, yeah. made Ilene. Yeah, Ilene, Ilene is, you've heard, and like, it makes sense. Ilene is con considered like the, the, the sibling god to Oren. Right. Uh, a smaller, kind of weaker god. But it is, it is said, like, people are saying, like, you know, Ilene was made in the in the in the shadow, the bright and shadow of of Orin. Like there's all this, there's all these arguments about it and 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 whatnot. But Grickles will actually remember this. This is kind of important. Yeah, it's it's a really really neat depiction. Um, as you guys enter inside, uh, the doors open on their own. Okay, Gre Gre Grickles will clasp that that holy symbol and just keep going forward. Uh, you watch as Jerry kind of stops where he is. Uh, stop. Oh! He knew you were coming! What? Does he say oh, that to right. all of us? Telepathy. Yep, he uh, says it to all you guys. Well, gentlemen. Good luck! I'll be out here! Very well. Thank you, actually, Jerry, thank you so much for leading us here. Anyone who's a friend of Solly is a friend of mine. Thanks, Jerry. Wow. Guys, yeah, thanks for the info. You guys enter inside and boom, boom, those two giant doors close. Uh, there's, a car there's a carving on the other side as well. Oh. oh. Guys, I miss Jerry. Is Jerry away from us? Because I'm just going to be the task. He's going to be like, oh, my God, my head feels like an echo chamber. <laughs> you guys feel a little lightheaded. Um... <laughs> And you're not sure if that's Jerry or if it's Jerry eating, because from what you, you guys would know this from Solly, flumps eat like thoughts. Yeah. Um, so he may have partaken a little bit. Obviously not too much, but he may have partaken a little bit. Oh God, does that mean he gained our knowledge in some way? Borky once again saves the team. That's that, that's that's a legit no, body. That's a legitimate question. You don't know. All you know from Solly is you said that they eat thoughts. Oh, um, and that's Mm -hmm. yeah, I'd like to investigate the uh, if if I if there's quick time on the other side of the door because you said yeah, there's something else. Uh, another knowledge religion for me with advantage for this one. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, it's not gonna. Oh, ten. Uh. Okay. <laughs> on the back of the door, you see um, you see a dire scene. Um, one part of the door is like just flat still, and you see two big hands, these shadowy looking hands, clawing down. Uh, and you see um, what looks like humanoid figures, uh, basically all in like what looks like in duress and, and, and fear and anguish, twisting limbs and screaming. Um, it's, it kind of chills you a bit. Um, it's, it's a very frightening depiction of something, but you're not sure what the something is, unfortunately. Gotcha. It's definitely not of Orin, it's of something else. Right. Uh, you guys see anything? Oh, I'm sorry. You guys enter inside. The space is huge. Um, you see various sconces holding incense, and you, you get this, this not the most pleasant incense smell, given that there's not a lot to choose from down here, probably why. Um, you see stone pews that look basically untouched, well-maintained, beautifully um, carved. And you see a large altar in the front. And you hear a voice creep into your minds. Oh. <sighs> Acolytes. Are you the great-eyed one? Yes, I am the great-eyed one, priest of Orin, 
His speaker to say the same. He has shown me of your coming. I knew you were coming here. The acolyte of Jerry has seen to let you come to my front door. Enter, my children. Do not be afraid. Greggles will walk in. I'm uh, I'm yeah, we just walk in. I'm going to be a little bit afraid. <laughs> he walks yeah, gonna, forward. going to hesitantly walk forward. Clack. Clack, your footsteps echo across the stone floor. Yes. Oh, I've seen this day coming for eons now. Oh, blessed day. Blessed day indeed. Mm. And you watch as this form begins to descend, and you see this. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, boy. Can't oh, wait. No. Call it now. Oh, artwork by Art Jack, who did a fucking great job on this. Oh my god, this is Jack? This yeah. is Jack. That's Holy Jack. Oh, yeah. nice. What do we see descending, Nadine? You see a large and massive beholder, serrated teeth with black lips framing this maw of gums and, and jagged teeth. You see a purple sort of bumpy skin with various different eye stalks with eyes flicking around, a central pink eye, large and staring, and this big toothy smile. It looks ecstatic to see you at the moment. Uh, and kind of curled in the clutch of one of its eye stalks, you see a swaying satchel, and inside you can see what looks to be a, a large tomb of some kind, a tome of some kind. Uh. At... <sighs> Yes, he kind of comes forward floating really close to you guys, like uncomfortably uh, close. He's How? definitely giving off some magic, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, how big is he? He's bigger than you, Borky. He's like maybe, uh, let me just double check here. He's uh, about the I believe, size of... I believe Borky. beholders are huge, I think. I yes. don't think they're huge. I think they're medium. Uh, they're either large or they're medium. They're not actually too big. Uh, let me just look it up super fast here. I, I, I think, if I anything, think, if anything, they're large. I think that's the Death Gazer, the Lich one. That's the largest one. He is, yeah. he is large. Yeah, he is large. He's a large boy. So about the size of He's an a, elephant. Uh, yeah, about the size of an elephant, and he is just like a large eye. Oh, where are my manners? Ah, uh, Jerry, please enter my great acolyte. And you watch as Jerry flump, 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 enters in from a different door, not the front door. Hi! Oh, hey. yes. Oh, you watch as the eye stalks kind of come and caress your faces oh. gently. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, it's great to meet you, uh, uh, the great oh. eyed one? Yeah. Oh, no, no. I know why you're here. Solar has sent you here. It's true, isn't it? Yes, the sir. great, The great angel of watching has brought you down to this beautiful and holy place to see me. Ah, oh, how my heart and hands grow sweaty from your presence. <laughs> well, may Oren's light be with you, Great Eyed oh, One. And may the Undersun guide you as well. Where are my manners? Please allow me to introduce myself. I am a priest of Oren. My name is Bob. All right, I'll take it. Well, Bob, Bob the Beholder. Bork, Borky, uh, Borky just walks away. He's, 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 he just can't handle this, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Crackle, crackle, crackle. <laughs> grab I'm joking. Bork back. Pass. Like, I'm, you know I what? can't believe I'm writing Bob into named characters, Nadine. I swear mm. to God. Bob can, the can. Beholder. Can he ray it? <laughs> yes, yes, he can. Fucking, like, just, like... Fucking shaking, holds his head up because oh, he's like oh, not sure. Yes, I apologies. I must. You must be. Of course, you're from the surface. Of course. Um. Yes. Hello, Bob. I am. You. Matt. You may have uh, know me uh, as 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 a a, a surface name. Yes, of course. Uh, Robin. Perhaps. Robbie. Robert. Robbie. Robert. Oh. Roberto. Human name, yes, Bob, I believe. It's Roberto. Yes, cool. why, why are you saying a human name? Of course I'm human. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. we, all, we all start laughing. <laughs> uh, 
What? Everyone roll an intelligence check real fast for me. <laughs> 19. 17. 18. Damn. You guys. Uh, 10. 10. You guys hear the name Robins and you're like, where have we heard that name before? And like, everyone collectively has the light bulb moment of, oh, that journal in that temple, that was the name on the journal. Oh. Wait, the temple we came into before we fell down here? Yeah. You guys went through a journal? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Well, it's nice to meet you. I am, I, I guess it would be kind. It, only in kind shall we give our name. I yes, yes, a... please, names, a scribe. And you watch as he smacks two of his eye stalks together. The eyes kind of blink and close, like, ugh. And you watch as running out comes and the yogi that appears to be wearing glasses for no reason um, <laughs> like, has has an actual like like a book that it just throws to the ground and it pulls out its long like insectoid legs and dips it in some ink and gets ready. Oh yes, please for the great pantheon of history that we have of the Undersun, uh, please tell me, great acolytes, your names. Task of Oath Iron. Write it down. Write it down. And you watch as the, the Yogi just starts scratching into the paper. You don't even know what they're writing, but... And you, I... oh great feathered one, what beeth your name? I am Grickles Birdman. I am actually a new alkalite of Orin. Uh, there was a matter of which I would like to speak, if, if I may borrow your time momentarily. Oh, yes. yes, of course. Well, after the great ritual, of course, the great uh, tribunal, to see if you truly are worthy of the information I hold, but uh, we'll get to that <coughs> in a moment. Tribunal. You, oh, fair-skinned one. You see, kind of gently cups your, your face, panic, and like one other tentacle kind of strokes through your hair. Very, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy's awfully familiar. I've seen this anime before. Uh, I am, uh... <laughs> I, I am uh, Panic, Panic Grimtongue. Ah, oh, I am aware of a Grimtongue, yes. He kind of, kind of smiles a little bit more in the eye, kind of rolls a little bit. But that will come after the tribunal, the great trial, yes. Yes, and he kind of strokes your chin. And so you, it is her. you grand and large green one, tell me, speak to me your name. Balky. Yes. Yeah. He kind of waits for more. Oh. That's, that's it, really. I, yes, right, really. Right. Yeah, Slayer right. of Avatar. You want, you want to put that down, Nick? Oh, I, I see. Yeah, he sucked. Slayer of Avatar. Yeah. He sucked. Write that yeah, down. Yeah, Write he, that sucked. Down. He's like, he sucked a lot. Put, put it down. <laughs> he sucked a lot. But Niyogi kind of nods and, like, keeps writing. It's like, okay, now. This is the most Alfred Niyogi I've ever seen. Yes, sir. Mm, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, sunlit day. You have felt the great undersun, have you not? I have lorded over it for thousands of years. Yes, to feel the gentle light on your skin, to feel it rolling through your plentiful hair. He kind of does like a motion, almost a toss hair. Yes, it is. There's no other feeling of it, yes. Tass looks down at himself. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Ah, but conversation must come next. For it is all of the acolytes who must pass the trial of the surface. And in doing so, my favor is yours. So, is great acolytes, do you consider yourselves wise? We do. De do you consider yourselves strong-willed? That I do. Yes, yes, I would say that's what I'm, yeah. Do you see yourselves able to survive divine judgment? We do. Uh, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well. Then I shall take you to the chamber of the chosen. 
the great chi trials of the Acolytes. Follow me. And he begins to hover. And you watch as he hovers into like a door and he's like, clunk, 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 and he gets squeezes <laughs> through. <laughs> keeps going. Oh god. Oh my god. This guy, panic, this guy is giving me crazy anxiety. <laughs> Taz looks over to Borky. Now you see why I was afraid of the smaller versions. Panic is, oh, panic is just absolutely elated at the moment, actually. You guys, go for it. As you walk, you see a, a side chamber filled wall to wall in, like, petrified individuals. Oh! <laughs> Borky just points slightly. Why? As we walk past. <laughs> Why? Oh, yes. Non Nanda. Oh, yes. No, them. Non -nanda. We keep them on display as a reminder of those unworthy. If you are to fail your judgment, if you are to be seen as unfit as an acolyte of Orin, well, you have seen too much and simply that cannot be. No hard feelings, of course, right? Uh-huh. You follow him forward. You watch as he kind of floats in front of a door. Jerry, if you would, the key. Hi! And he just walks up, ja! floats up, and pulls out a key from under his robes and opens this large iron door. The door ah, swings open, and inside you see a wall of chains. Jerry takes another key and begins to un unlock all of the chains. Ah, that opens forward to a large crankshift door, which Jerry walks over and ah, 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 slowly raises up like this. How like awkward the, is the like... silence as he's doing this? You really, you literally watch as, as Bob is like, has this big smile on his face. He's kind of looking to you and then looking to the door and like back and forth. Like, it's like a kid yeah. looking at his parents to see how cool something is. Yeah, oh. yeah. He watches that lifts up and underneath you see a large, uh, almost like a large stone door. And you watch as Bob kind of pulls out these different, like, these like uh, mosaic slabs and kind of sticks them into place. And that slowly <laughs> rises up and you see another iron door. Okay. Um, like I really, wait, I, I really worry. Like, why do you need so many doors? Like, oh, the great, the one who conducts the trial is is so divine and holy that a buffer is needed. You see. Oh, there's another one who's going to give us this trial. Yes, they are much more powerful than I. So, oh, as you God. do, good luck. And you watch as he puts his eye stalks on the door and. And that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh, oh my God. Oh, boy. Can we take oh. a moment here? Hey, you, yeah, yeah, bravo, Nadine. Bravo. <laughs> bravo. I can't, Holy I can't believe shit. You know, I got to learn to shut the fuck up because this is the second time a Jape of mine has come in game. My favorite thing is when you guys enter the cave, you made the joke of somewhere in the distance. Hello. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> God. Fuck. Oh, my God. I, shout I was... out once again shout out to citric king who did jerry the flump did a fan oh my god this... and to jack kaiser who did bob and we've been working on bob i i want to say something but i don't know if i want to so the first time you guys went into that temple and the edder caps were there mm -hmm. yeah. guess who was behind that door at the time oh motherfucker yeah. it was jerry yeah, he was there no, Bob. it was it was Bob. Bob. Bob was there picking up stuff. So you know, finally you guys meet him at last. Oh my oh. God, he's been in the game for so long. Yeah, I know. Can, yeah, can, got... can we can we call this episode in all caps? Hello. No, no. <laughs> nah, it gives it away. Gives it, gives it, gives it away. Yeah, gives, yeah, no spoilers. No, 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 fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, gaze gaze and confuse is probably the best yeah. one. All right, I have got to. I'm sorry, I have got to go back to bed. No worries. Go go use the bathroom. Uh, Zito. Uh, plug away for you and uh, Goomba there while he's gone. Oh, hi. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Zito where there are indie games, homebrewed stuff. Morty, excuse me. Uh, and there is also art, but on Thursdays, we're going to be trying doing some uh, Magic the Gathering nonsense. So uh, if you head on over to my channel, me and uh, Mr. Gaiju Goomba will be uh, throwing stupid decks at each other, and uh, one of us will flip the table at some point. Hell yeah, man. Hey, Connor. Distortion uh, Devil Lou. Where can they find you, buddy? They can find me on Twitter at Senile Snake. They can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where on Friday, it's going to be Friday Funhouse. Saturday. <laughs> Saturday is going to be The Witcher. How do you spell that? 
F. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, I didn't pass that class. <laughs> you get, uh, and then on Sunday is going to be the video too. Yeah, we're the baddies. Yeah, we're we're the worst. We I are think. the worst. <laughs> Even when we try to do everything right, it all goes wrong. Monty, where can they find you? You can find me in my thrashed voice tomorrow. Uh. Well, actually, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue on Twitch. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is going to be the uh, Skies of Arcadia. We're on part three. We just got to Ixataka. Do 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 um, and on, uh, Sunday you can find me with Divinity 2 Original Sin as Restelia, and we're, man, we fucked up, but it's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so, yeah. Uh, also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point this out now, um, while we're, we're still live. Um, on the Discord now, uh, I take Q&A questions every week. Um, I pick ones I want to answer. Uh, we usually leave it open for a couple days. Um, one question per person. So if you guys are interested in asking any questions about kind of the game and like what goes on when making it, uh, obviously spoiler free. Um, you can ask questions there. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out the Discord yet, I recommend checking it out because we have uh, we have the Q and A and other other fun things there. So I just figured I'd point out. Also, Friday, um, I forgot. I'm going to be uh, on Colonel Shero's stream. We're going to be drawing some Pokemon very badly. I can't wait. It's it's going to be at. I know it's gonna be like around 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, somewhere around there. You'll, you'll, you'll see an announcement probably on my end. So, yeah. I'm so happy about this episode, by the way. I, I have a big smile on my face. Oh, yeah. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get to Bob. I'm like, I'm not sure if we're gonna get to Bob. And then we got to Bob, and I'm like, yeah. I thought I totally fucked over your encounter with the gazer when I told everyone to just dodge it. <laughs> no, it was great. Like, that was the gazers, honestly, I didn't expect to be as funny as they were. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Funny. That was really funny. Like Newt's out for Nadine's throat. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I no wonder you're <laughs> like I'm. I'm gonna need uh. I'm gonna need tea. I'm like, what is Scarble I love show up? Z Zito, I love it where you're just like you're just like, oh god, it's you and not me. I'm like, you did this to me, Zito. You made this a thing. <laughs> oh, I know. That's why I'm just like, you know, everyone like Boo Bradley showed me a picture of what is quote unquote punished Jerry. Uh, and he told me, this is your fault. You should feel regret. I'm like, nah, nah. I, I think I'm good. Nah, it's good. I, I honestly, like, it, it's it's just like Scarbles. It's the exact same thing. Maybe a little harder, but it's it's fine. Oh, my goodness. Wait, guys, you can find me here. Just, tomorrow we have MNW. Got a crazy announcement on the show. Should be fun. We will continue on with the hat arc. That's it, just the hat arc. We had the cl the clown arc, the inquisition arc, now the hat arc. We're deep in it. Now, I got a lot of people to thank here, guys. I gotta thank Probonagayari. I can't wait to find out if, if Bob is a legitimate human turned beholder or just more insane than a normal beholder. A thousand bits from Probonagayari. Oh, and Goomba, are you back? No. Oh, he's on. How is he doing? He's doing this from the bathroom. He's plugging himself in the <laughs> chat from the bathroom. <laughs> wow. Oh wow. my God! <laughs> Thank of you guys. The madman. Gamma Leo with 500 bits. Oh my! Such a wonderful day today has been. Happy birthday, Taka. And Jerry is back with Bob the Beholder. Wow. Uh, Ice Blue, thank you for the 300 bits. Aveon fan with a thousand bits. Okay, this beholder is terrifying because he's nice. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> you are I so happy him. about this. Oh, I am yeah. so happy. I love Bob. Are you kidding me? I love him. I just I imagine him looking, uh, looking back and forth from the the, the door he opens back and <laughs> forth. From just you know that wide shot of him just looking at us, looking at the door, and just raises his eyebrow a couple times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aveon fan. It. Thank you for the thousand bits. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the bits. Blackfoot Ferret with the elite bits. 1,337 bits buys Bob and Jerry a pint. <laughs> Blackfoot <laughs> Ferret, thank you so much for the lead bits. They need to get, they need to get a pint. 
Zach, oh, do well with having a Ritz. This Bob is reminding me of a priest from the first Outlast, and I'm scared as hell. Oh no. Oh, 500. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 definitely an inspiration for sure. Oh good. I I like Outlast actually a lot. Strip I think it's a well. Daddy, the first one. Daddy, the oh daddy, I can't. My brain can't. I, I, Bob, Marty, you already broke everyone <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle Wizard, Vin Smoke Sanji, Muscle Wizard, Rekitty93, 321 to Jima. Thank you all for the bits, guys. Wilder41 with a 1500 bits. United Clergy of Orin receives a new text message, Jerry. I left, bitch! <laughs> Wait, can you say that as Jerry Nadine? I left, bitch! There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Wilder41. Panda getting with a thousand bits. Vul Vulcan, I mean, Jerry Live! Stop, stomp! Jerry lives. The hardest thing was the hardest thing when doing Bob was to whether to put him in the monster section or the NPC section of my art. I'm like, I don't know where to put him. I, was, hmm. I, I think it needs a player interaction before you can decide that. Yeah. Uh, D DZA nine thousand fifteen hundred bits. Ha ha ha! Ironic, my group fought an Umber Hulk last week. Our bard used hideous laughter, and it kept failing. Slipknot Lobster, Script Daddy gifting subs, Yorberick, Platinum Raven, Script Daddy again, big thank you. Oh my god, Script Daddy was getting, uh, get, gifted the sub to Pentagon, Heavy Metal Flumped, I Can't Even. My god, some of these <laughs> sub bombs. Chompin, Chomp, Chompin Bomb, thank you, Ursani, thank you. Shadowheads are bomb, become as Bob. Well, Bob, of course, is a fan of Bob. Curdex with a 500 bits. <clears throat> Other title, Hello from the Undersun. Not bad, but we do are worried about it giving away the uh, the the yeah. The, we don't want to names give... can't give away what what really happens in I, the episode. I was genuinely shocked. I was genuinely. Are you? Fu oh my goodness! Alucard True Five, aka V. Thank you for that thousand bits. Happy birthday! It Thank was, you so much, Zito. It was a natural one that was so much in my favor. <laughs> like, mm. oh, I don't mind. Like, I was just like, oh, well, I fell. <laughs> Thank you, Bosco. By the way, guys, Bosco's in the chat. Don't forget to check out twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. He's got some fun stuff going oh. over on his Twitch stream. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, that's, uh, I think that's it from us here at the Unexpectables. Uh, don't forget to check out Gaijin Goomba. No H. Yeah. He can't be here to promote himself. But, yeah. Too busy sleeping. But uh, guys, this is it. This was a hell of a this was a hell of a great birthday episode. Let me tell you. Yeah, yep. I was like, when I realized it was birthday, I'm like, oh, what a great episode to have your birthday on. <laughs> Good. It's madness incarnate, just like, <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> as it is. I'm I'm just I'm just scared about the fact that Bob just went. Oh no, there's someone more powerful than me here. What the fuck is more powerful than a beholder? Two beholders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong. I'm like, yeah. I'll be Holder and his less talented cousin. But we gotta raid somebody. John. I know. <laughs> John the Tarras. Um, what the fuck am I doing? I'm making memes, and it's gonna show up like 30 episodes later. What the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, we have Hey Mr. Rabbit and Shinigami Eater. Well, we should raid uh, Octo. Maybe Octo. Oh yeah, Oct Octo's playing uh, Sly Two Band of Thieves, which is actually really fun to watch. I was I I was working on stuff and I was watching him play the game. Oh, he's just, he's so pleasant. Oh yeah. But I want to thank yeah. you all so much for the kind, kind like uh, birthday. Oh, Jack says Tiki uh, is Tiki. Um. Oh, is Tiki the troll streaming? Can Tiki someone, would be a really good. Can one someone type out their right their now. proper name? Uh, I think it's Tiki, Tiki underscore, underscore the underscore troll. <laughs> Okay, we still live? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're just about yeah. to raid out. Excellent. Oh, we should, also raid raid up, we should also probably say, bye, Austin. Bye, yeah, Austin. Oh, yeah. Oh, bye Jesus. Austin. Yeah, bye, Austin. <laughs> what episode is this? Oh. Sure, you're showing the recording. No! Uh, this, is ep this is episode 96. Oh. Kurt, you're showing your files on screen. Not anymore. Not anymore. I pulled it off. Here. Here you go. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. That was, that was like, pained. Oh, my bladder's full from all the tea I just drank, so... I'm oh, gonna... I'll tell you what. Don't eat pizza and ramen on the same day. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, Carbalicious, ow. 
that picture of Punish Jerry is now you at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guys, um, and again... So, oh, for context, too, I'm just going to state this now. So next week, we're going to have an episode. Just mm -hmm. so those who are staying back and are asking. Next week is the 7th. We're going to have an episode. And on the 14th uh, is going to be a another um, S-series one-off. Mm -hmm. And then the 21st is going to be another one-off, which is in the works currently. So Excellent. Keep you guys posted on that. That's because uh, I believe it was... It was you guys, and you're leaving? Yeah, I'll be gone for two weeks. Yeah, that's right. You're going to be gone for two weeks. So, unfortunately, in the Underdark, you kind of need everyone to be together. Oh, sure. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to have S-Series on the uh, on the 14th, and the 21st is going to be a one-shot of some nature. I have some ideas. I have two ideas that I want to do, so we'll see if I can get people to do that. Uh, I want to thank everybody so much, and a big personal thank you uh, to Probate again nerd. for his... What's up? Nerd. He's a nerd. Sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, a little bit, but like... But thank you so much, Probate, for the 100,000 bits, dude. God damn. Mm -hmm. I, uh... Still a little bit disbelief about that? Um... <laughs> thank you so much, dude. I'm going to be sending you a proper thank you in a message but let's raid the one who trolls tiki the troll go send yep, that's right go send yeah, kindness yeah. over tiki the trolls way that'd be it's great good guy mm -hmm. good bean 10 out of 10 good bean ah beans bye bye thank you all for the birthday wishes <laughs>